ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a lovely time today, my friends. How are we doing? Are we all glorious? Are we ready? Have we got warm cups of tea in hand? Are we all ready for something very, very, very special today? Today we are doing a stream like no other to unleash an exploit like no other that has literally never been covered before uh, because no one was aware of it except for now. Here it is. We're ready to show it off to the world. I would like to, before we start, uh, say a huge thank you to the wonderful Salt Effen for uh, basically submitting this exploit. I don't normally cover other exploits that are submitted in for like newer stuff. Um, however, I make a big exception for this one because there is nothing like it and is absolutely absurd. Uh, I've never seen an exploit like this in Warhammer, so I thought it would be good fun to show it off with you guys. So yes, grab yourselves a nice warm cup of tea. Huge thank you to Salt FM, uh, otherwise known as Karmic, for today, as this is going to be a little bit jazzy. So, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the world of Warhammer 3. I hope you are all ready and excited. Look, yes, this is what the world looks like. It's Warhammer 3. We recognize it. We know what it looks like. It's a it's a video game. Um, I hope it's not laggy. Is it all fine? Does it render fine? Chat, is there lag or is it fine? Because recording Warhammer 3 is always a challenge. Oh, wait. It's trying to record at the same time. There we go. Let me fix that. There you go. Are you happier now, streaming software? Are you happier? Not fine. Lag. God fuck. God damn it, Warhammer Free. You're an absolute bloody nightmare to try and record. Swift's computer's dying. Swift's computer is wonderful. Literally impossible. Right, I have to turn off my lovely rules of nature audio. Okay, fine. I, wait, I can't click on the army. That's a spoiler. Spoiler to click on the army. Um, all right, 25% of frames skipped. Am I outputting this at... What output am I sending this out at? Am I sending this out at like 240p or 1440p? Okay, let me just quickly lower the resolution of the game down to something that makes a bit more sense. Sorry, chat, one second. Um, one moment. Visual settings lower down to 1920 by 1080p. Oh, I hate it. Run in window as well. Oh, 1920 by 1080. Oof, apply changes. Here we go. Okay, right. Should hopefully work now. This should render fine. Um, it is. It is a challenge with these video games because of how they function. Uh, they're often a little bit janky, and that's okay. It's okay to have slightly janky video games, um, largely because Warhammer 3 is not rendered very effectively. Uh, the developers, you know, they they spent time on something else, and that's okay. We can appreciate the time they spent working on other things. So this should now hopefully run completely fine. Um, if it doesn't, I'd be bloody amazed because we effectively just half to the quantity of frames that the software had to even render. No, that looks lovely to me. Fantastic. Okay, welcome chat. This uh, is now live. We're here together. We're here to break the game. Um, much better. Mm. Ah, chat, I love you. Thank you, chat. Smooth as butter. Uh, I can't believe what we're watching isn't butter. Now, you will notice we're playing Total War Warhammer 3. Uh, normally, if you're playing Warhammer 3, you're going to be playing one of the newer factions. Uh, I don't know why I'm looking over here. There's not many newer factions over here. But anyway, you're going to be playing some of the newer Chaos factions. That just kind of makes more sense. Uh, we're not going to be doing any of that because that's big old nerd stuff. Instead, we're going to be focusing on the the good stuff. And the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen, is not... Um, not whatever the fu whatever the heck that stuff is. It's still lag. Jesus Christ, this game. This game's rendering software is like absolute jank. I can't describe how bad this thing post process is. Let me just actually turn off all post processing effects quickly. <clears throat> Anti aliasing off. Texture filtering. Uh, 
trilinear. I think that's that's what we're wanting, right? Um, fog, low. Just turn off all that shadow. Don't need shadow. Fuck shadow. Um, cloth sim simulation. Who needs to simulate cloth? Jeez, I can just wear clothes if I want to simulate cloth. Oh dear. Okay, right. Bam. This should be back fine now. Oh no, the, the game's lagging. Of course it is. Game's lagging, not responding. Thank you, Warhammer. Warhammer, like, it's not difficult, okay, to actually function. Um, Connor, you can't do a poll where you ask if there's lag and you propose an option of T. They're just going to vote T. You know what this community is like. Anyway, right, this should mostly be fine anyway. Who cares if it doesn't perfectly function? Fuck it. It's, it's, it is what it is. I'm going to keep a little tracker open so I can see how many frames we drop, but I'm going to hide all of the rendering stuff so my computer doesn't have to worry about it. Okay, right. Welcome to Warhammer 3, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, of course, as we mentioned, people play the boring nerd factions. They play elves, they play chaos. Hardly anyone gives the wood elves a go. No one gives the wood elves a go, okay? Because why? Well... There's a few reasons. Number one, elves suck. Uh, they just generally do. They're just not very entertaining. Next up, these are wood elves. Imagine an elf that already suck, and now they suck more because they just live in trees, okay? Like, literally, die-hard hippie faction. That's who we're going to be playing today. They're quite boring to play as well. Like, um, their faction mechanics aren't very good, especially the faction I'm playing... Uh, the Sisters of Twilight. Like, they have a forge. Ooh, wow. I could make... I could make 16 unique items. Woo! And I can do this thing, which, like, almost all other factions have access to. So, like, is this... Is this good? Is this good? The answer is no. It's not good. This isn't good. There's no benefit to this. This just kind of sucks. Uh, it's not very good. So, yes, the faction sucks. Not fun. I, I can see some of you already rebelling in chat saying, look, we love the Wood Elves. You can say they're fun to play. They're not as fun as other factions, okay? If you're asking me, would I rather play Wood Elves or would I rather play the Pirate Faction, it's going to be the Pirate Faction because they are fun, they're silly, all of their units look different. I'm sorry, but all of the Wood Elf units just look like reskinned Elf units because... Oh no, that's exactly what they are. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's not what we're here to complain about. Uh, <laughs> we're here to talk about some dubious game balance. So, this is the wonderful world of Warhammer. The way Warhammer works is you have your armies and you fight with your armies. You can also have heroes and you can embed these heroes into armies. They can fight in battles and they can do other status effects. So, I know there's a dude over here. He's a Lich Priest of Light, so he heals undead units when he's in an army. But when he's not in an army, he can go around and he can wound other enemy heroes. Makes perfect sense. Uh, the elves have the same. We can recruit heroes, we can recruit these glade captains, we can recruit these spell slingers. Some of them are quite good, we can recruit them at level 10. However, the game has a unique mechanic. You can take heroes from one campaign that you've done and load them into another campaign. This is like a really good idea. It's really fun. It's really silly. Like you can you can be playing with your favorite hero in one story, bring them over into another campaign when you give it another go. It's great. Makes perfect sense. There's just like one one minor difference, and that is that in this case, it's completely and utterly broken. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, because we can recruit heroes. Yes, yes, we can recruit heroes. Uh, one issue, we can recruit unique heroes. Okay, that makes perfect sense. We can recruit maybe the unique hero for the Wood Elf faction, known as uh, Alariel um, or Ariel. Uh, we can recruit them. That makes perfect sense. And that's wonderful. Who doesn't want to recruit a hero? Issue is, we can recruit them from other campaigns. Um, 
Sorry, Avatar, yes, Ariel, the Avatar of Isha. We can recruit them from other campaigns. Now, you're going to notice they're bloody expensive. They're really expensive. We've got uh, uh, Ariel here that costs 18 grand. This one costs 15 grand. This one costs 15 grand. This one costs 18 grand. This one costs 17 grand. Now, this is a unique hero. You can only have one in each campaign. Uh, you get the, they spawn in when you, like, heal up one of your, the main tree that you're looking after. You get the, uh, the Avatar Ariel. Um... Issue is, you only get one. Now, one's okay, but it's not good enough. Because, sure, they're probably one of the most overpowered heroes in the game, but having one of them isn't good. Now, of course, we could recruit one. Uh, they're too expensive, and we could only have one, so that's not really an exploit. What is an exploit is uh, you can recruit more than one. Uh, allow me to introduce you to my free Ariels here, uh, who I recruited earlier because I'm on turn 21. Yes, this exploit takes a little bit of time to set up, but it's worth it. Basically, in a single-player campaign, you can go around and do the first 40 turns of the Sisters of Twilight campaign, uh, get as many Ariels as you can and save them. Uh, you can just press this button to save character. Then start up a new campaign and you can have all of them that you've saved and you can recruit them. For example, instead of Ariel, we now just have Bob. Bob the Fairy. Now, Bob the Fairy um, is quite good. We're going to talk about why Bob the Fairy is so good. Uh, this is Ariel. Ariel, if you don't know, is a spellcaster. They're quite a good spellcaster with a lot of hit points. They've got decent stats and they're okay in melee. Not the best, they're okay. What makes them so damn terrifying, ladies and gentlemen, is what you can do with them. And what happens when you get multiple Bob the Fairies together. And yes, I know Bob the Fairy is cute. Okay, if you ask nicely, Bob will give you his number. Um... Bob the Fairy has a few special abilities. Firstly, Queen of Athel Lauren. Uh, this means you get Winds of Magic cost minus 10% for all spells. And Winds of Power Reserve change plus 20% when increasing. This is a minor problem because you'll notice um, there's some battle effects that are affecting all of our units. We can take a look at this hero and we can go down to their battle effects. These guys don't have any. Uh, if we click on one of the Ariels, because there's multiple Ariels, the effects of the Ariels are stacking. And you'll notice they are currently being affected by minus 20% Winds of Magic cost for all spells, and a further minus 10% for all spells in all armies. Oh, you can't see it because the chat's in the way. Ch ch look, chat, that's my... Okay, yes, that is my fault. I will move the chat out of the way. There we go. Bam. Chat out of the way. Fine. Enjoy. You can now see. Um, Ariel has minus 20% for all Winds of Magic spells and minus 10% for... and then additional minus 10%. Ariel is getting these two minus 20s from the other two Ariels in this army, and this is Ariel's own ability, and they're all stacking. Now, what this means is quite special. Basically, all of these spells that cost magic, uh, like, say, Soul Stealer, would normally cost us 8 magic to cast, now costs us 30% less, and that is with free Ariels in the army. What happens when you get all of the Ariels in the army? Well, that's when shenanigans begins. And I mean true shenanigans. That's what we're working towards. An army of entirely just Ariels. So this is exploit number one. And did my game just crash? Game? What the, what the hell, game? We haven't even started with the exploit, Mr. Warhammer. Jeez, okay, fine. Game loading. Oh, my God. Uh, do I see the super chat? Or are we supporting a streamer that does not see comments? Uh, yes, I do. I do see the super chats. They do pile up. I do generally read them at the end. Like, for example, I can see the wonderful Dan, the indoor man. Thank you for the £10. Uh, don't know how to do this, uh, but hey. Oh, uh, you can use the super chat payment, but you didn't know how to give random subs, and you wanted to gift... Uh, and you wanted to give back. Well, thank you very much for giving back, my dude, for the £10. And, of course, one cooler guy for the classic 42069 Australian dollars. Um, what we've all learned is that Warhammer 3 can't handle Spiff. That Spiff... No, I'm not res I'm not responding to the rest of that one cooler guy. You know I can't. You know I legally can't. I'm live on stream. You can't make me respond to slander about coffee. It's illegal. 
illegal. You're supporting the black screen. Look, the black screen is some of the best content this platform has ever seen. I know this because I've seen other streams. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was also doing some deep, uh, deep philosophical thinking earlier today. If a um, if a streamer donates money to the homeless and they don't record themselves doing it, did they really do it? Just some deep thoughts. Just some deep thoughts. It's my uh, modern twist on the if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, <laughs> does it make a sound? <laughs> I mean, it's a genuine question. Like. Who knows with these streamers? Who knows? Right, I'm going to set graphics to low. Uh, 1920 by 1080. I don't know why it is resetting my graphics every time I reload the game. That doesn't make sense, Warhammer. Off, off texture quality. Why would I want giga texture quality? Right, apply changes. Here we go. Continue campaign. Okay, bam. Loading in. Loading in nicely. I know, look, the black screen's good. We're loading back in. I'm loading the game. Look, uh, you can have st screen now. I hope you enjoy the screen. Premium quality. Uh, actually, I don't think you can see what... No, you can't see whilst it's loading. There we go. Look at this. Well, bam. Wonderful. Loaded. Um... <laughs> right. I will switch back to not being able to see the stream. So if something buggers up, uh, give me a shout, chat. I'll see the chat. And that's that's all we'll know. Okay, right. Uh, welcome back. Here we go. So you'll notice we have our free uh, aerials, and that's great. Uh, we're quite early into the game, so we haven't really done much expansion. So that's generally what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, we want to be saving up money so that we can buy another aerial. The next aerial, I think, is uh, is Greg Ariel, who comes in at. 15,000. So that's our goal, is to make as much money as possible. Uh, we're going to do that by basically raising this entire Dark Elf faction that for some reason decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to go to war with the two sisters flying on a giant fucking eagle, equipped with this medieval version's, I don't know, this, this fantasy world's version of like a, a 50 caliber sniper rifle. But hey, that's fine, sure, we can go to war. Um, I'm not going to spend any money because it just does not make sense to spend money. We are here to do something different. What is this? Reforge to gift with temporary powers. Oh, I've not bugged about with this. What does this do? Re select to reforge gift with temporary powers. Okay, I'll save that for a little bit down the line because that could be that could be shenanigans, chat. That could be good shenanigans. But yeah, effectively we're playing with fantasy attack helicopter and three hype women who they're mere presence to each other. And they're all sisters, literally. Well, they're not even sisters, they're twins, okay? And if you get a whole bunch of sisters together, they their combined girl boss energy is going to blot out the entire sun. Now, this Tomb King over here does have a high power rating and he is asking for our money. Normally, I would just tell him to fuck off, but um, I will actually accept paying him because I do not want to fight the Tomb Kings to the left of me. I've got to bother about all of this random crud to the south of me, okay? I can make more money off of it than I would from giving money to the Tomb Kings. It's fine. It's all going to be okay. Right, what is this? Treasury, but we get corruption. Hell yeah, I love money. That sounds great. Or oh, quest has been issued. I don't care about the quests. What is this? Oh, money. I do care about the quests. Okay, this would give me casualty replenishment and a frost dragon. So rather than flying on an eagle, uh, rather than flying on an attack helicopter, we'd be flying on like an AC-130 gunship. Well, that's potentially a thing we could we could deal with. Um, Instead, I'm going to take the Sisters of Twilight and we're just going to go burn down the forest of Anheim. Arnheim, I think. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Right, we're going... Do we, do we like, heal as we pillage? No, we don't. Okay, we have to encamp our way across. Oh, fine. It's in camp. It's fine. Next turn, we'll be able to just waltz our way straight in to the forest of Anheim and burn it to the ground. So that's the plan. 
All right, which word? You're doing okay. I don't have any money to sink into you, so I don't care about you. Right, end turn. Easy, quick turns. Here we go. Why do I have multiple Sisters of Twilight? Um, I don't think you can. New quest. Another settlement needs your help. Thank you. Thank you, um, Todd Howard, for the greatest greatest bit of guidance and quest design the Fallout universe has ever seen. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hope the wifey and Puppets is doing well. Yeah, they're doing good. They're out for the day. Uh, good. They're, they're going on a walk um, because, you know, I'm being boring and spending all day inside playing video games. But we went out in did some shopping early today. So, yep, li life is good. Okay, so we're going to go take over this settlement. I don't think there's much of a garrison. No, there's a pathetic garrison. In we go. Okay, and, I mean, you probably know exactly how this battle is going to go down. It's a decisive victory. It's honestly not worth me even fighting this. I'll just auto-resolve. Okay, we get some money, and we're going to raise it, which gives us four grand. There we go. Bam. Four grand. Lovely. Uh, most importantly, what's great about getting that four grand is we can immediately recruit another hero. Yes, we can recruit one of these heroes. These heroes suck. We do not want these heroes. They are unique. They're not legendary. We want to recruit one of these heroes um bob ariel ched greg or ariel chat which which one are we going for bob ariel ched or greg or the other ariel <laughs> the choice is yours we can afford them all <laughs> oh dear bob okay we like the sound of bob bob's bob's got some great traits yeah i'm sure bob's good ched ah uh, ched's good ched is ched's underrated okay it looks We've got a we've got a firm Bob gang. Okay, so Bob's in. Uh, this is Bob Bob the second, I think now, because um, we've got. Wait, did it not let me? Oh, I forgot to rename. Okay, well this is I guess the OG Bob then. I'm not allowed multiple Bobs in this cano canonical universe. So the other reason why Bob slash Ariel is so good is quite clear. Um, they have this advantage here on fertile ground. Minus 20% construction cost for all buildings in the local province, minus 20% construction time, and plus 5% income from all buildings. This is, as you can imagine, really, 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 really quite useful. Like, silly, silly useful. Uh, and that's great. That's what we love to see. That's what we really love to see. Because that means this stuff builds faster and is cheaper. And when we have more Ariels standing in this province, oh dear it becomes slightly too cheap and that is what we like messing about with anyway we sacked up this province um can we go anywhere else no i don't think we can okay right uh sisters of twilight what can i sink into you um you haven't really got anything useful because let's be honest this is all about the aerial show rather than anything you can offer so i guess i'll just give you more hit points so you don't die like a weak noodle um, and then I need to spend some of these points. So I might as well try reforging because we have some spare money. What's it done? Okay, it's reforged Twilight Spear. Um, I don't know if it's doing what I wanted it to anymore, but who cares? Fine. Uh, I don't know what the goal is. I guess now we have a bound spell. Cool. I, yeah, I plan to do that. I love loot boxes. Uh, you can honestly get multiple sisters. Did the same with Forrick and Frot. Oh, wow. Okay, so... I guess we can save this character. And if we were to start another campaign, we could recruit a lord, load a character, and, yeah, load in another sister of Twilight. The issue is multiple sisters of Twilight, not that useful. Multiple Ariels, however, hell yeah. Now, that's, that's what we're all about. Anyway, right, I'll end my turn. Who cares about anything the enemy can do? I've made my money. I'm happy. <laughs> you can tell his you can tell his screen is higher res than the stream because his cursor is in random freaking places all the time. Look, I'm sorry, Connor, if my cursor isn't lining up. Look, you don't come to these streams for the highest quality. You come for the experience. Orion, are you dying to the elves? Sorry, to the dwarves. You are. I will take a defensive alliance, though, because you're offering me money, and I love money. What can I say? I'm British. <laughs> Please, money. Right, there we go. These elves are... These dark elves are quite angry. Oh, we have to give money or angry gods? Angry gods! I'm not giving money to the gods. I am a god. Jeez. 
Okay, right. We're going to encamp our way up. Use the wood roots. Does not sound like a fun idea. Uh, we're going to encamp up. Waltz our way over towards their capital. I think they're not feeling too great anymore. Oh, they've got actually a couple of armies over here. They, they suck, but they've got some armies. And we can actually afford to build stuff here. Um, there's no reason to, though, because we're just going to take this bob and send this bob over to go join up with this army. There we go. Look at the sister's skill tree. They have a faction-wide buff that gives dragons extra breath. This can be stacked to infinity. Um, I suppose you're right. Having multiple multiple sisters of twilight rather than multiple aerials could be useful. Uh, what is this? Where is it? Is it otherworldly spirit? Yes, plus one for all dragon breath attacks, all armies. Okay, I suppose you're right. Having like infinite sisters could be great. However, the cooldown on the dragon breath attack would be your bottleneck. Whereas I feel that I I really do feel like just the fact that you can have endless infinite magicka and infinite money is going to be better with Ariel, in my humble opinion. Or is Ariel, sorry. Ariel's the Disney princess. That's what I've learnt. Um, infinite bobs. Hey, that's what we want. Uh, someone in chat donates to say, Moriano Chiefs. Kind of? Soon? Maybe. No spoilers. This week. No spoilers. What is this? Non-aggression pact? Hell yeah. I want to be friendly with everyone. I really... I don't want... I don't like it in Total War when the AI just goes absolutely rampant and starts declaring war on you willy-nilly. It is much nicer when the AI just kind of, like, can chill the fuck out because... <laughs> It's way too common that the AI just goes gets an absolute I don't know. I don't know how to describe it other than a raging murder boner and all they want to do is just kill you. At every single opportunity they just want to kill you. Right. Um let's send this Ariel over. Let's just wander in this way so we're nice and close. There we go, and we can reform up with this Bob soon soon after. And yeah, we'll just heal up here. This seems fine. Have I got anything I could recruit? Uh, nothing, because it's all worth too much money. And I don't want to spend money. No, 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 no. Money is for bobs. That's how it works. Right. End turn. Who is stronger, Rionu Keeves or Bob? Uh, it's challenging, because both of them technically can cast infinite magic for free. Bob is just inherently more powerful. What is this, Balthazar girl? You want a non-aggression pact as well? Hell yeah, my dude, yeah! Oh, we're starting to get the friendship ball rolling. I mean, the friendship ball can only go so far because you're going to start murdering people. Um, <laughs> I also guess one caller guy, because you did donate a stupendous amount of money, I will I will rename one of our lovely, one of our lovely Ariels after you. Let's choose uh, this one. Uh, you are now one cooler guy. There we go. Enter. Did that save? That did actually save. Heck, yes. Good stuff. Settlement infected. Uh, that's fine. That's okay. The plague's fine. I love the plague. Woo, plague time. Yay. Okay. Right, we need to sack someone out of this army. One of these terrible glade guard units can go. Let's send in. Send in the bob. Send in the Bob. Of course, because this is a legendary hero, um, there is no cap on the sheer quantity of them you can put in your army. The game's just like, oh, you want more? Fine, why not? Let's just add more of them in. What could go wrong? Uh, this is a battle. Uh, this is a unique battle because the game is like, you will die here. Look at all of these units they have. Um, this is a lie, of course. We are not going to die here. This is going to go very nicely for us. Anyway, I'm going to make a uh, siege tower. Yeah, one siege tower. That sounds good. And I will wait a turn and continue the siege. Uh, because it otherwise might be a faff to get all of my heroes into the settlement. Right. Oh, wait, they can fly, can't they? Oh, it's been... I did all of my testing, like, last week, so I don't even... I can't remember if they can fly. Oh, wait, I can just do Vol's Anvil during siege battles. Oh, that's that's great. Okay, well, that changes everything. You have access to Vol's Anvil now, right? Uh, let me check. Do, 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 do. Uh, it should be under the army effects. Oh, God, I don't know. Right, I'll just end turn, and then we'll definitely go in next turn, because I don't know if it activates this turn. 
lag no lag look chat i have no control over how the game is feeling sometimes game want to be friend other times game does not want to be friend game wants to be absolute bum what is this you want money give money get defensive alliance yes why not you'll probably survive that's the hope um why is the game lagging? What did you do, Smith? I don't know. Look, this game never runs well for me. Absolutely never. Like, every other game runs fantastic. This game, nope, not at all. Not at all. Always the worst. All right, there we go. Fantastic. We made some friends. Settlement receives plague. Uh, something. Doesn't matter. Oh, we got a new, new technology. We'll go for... Uh... Cooldown for Law of Shadow spells is good because I'm pretty sure most of these aerials are Law of Shadows. Normally, that's just my memory, so my memory could be wrong. Uh, you had that problem with Mafia Free? I know it sucks. Bob is lagging the game, possibly. What laptop or PC are you using? I am using a 3080 Ti or like a 3090, and a incredibly overpowered processor i can tell you that it is not my computer my computer is one of the most strongest processing computers you can have my memory is wrong i have 64 gigabytes of memory and 25 gigabytes of visual memory do not tell me my memory is wrong the game is just the game is poorly optimized okay look look advanced settings it's a 3090 24348 megabytes of virtual memory a visual memory. Silence, chat. Silence. You silly sausages. Um, I wonder if there is anything here though that I can just... <sighs> chat, I'll give you one moment before we go into this battle because I know we can't. Check unlimited memory. Yeah, but the game is running fine on my perspective. It's just when it's getting rendered by Streamlabs where it's, it's feeling funky. So... It could be a Streamlabs thing. I'm not sure. Maybe bitrate is all weird. But no, I've got the bitrate set so that it can't exceed 4,500. And that's fine. Check unlimited memory. But the game's running fine, chat. Don't... I'm not bringing up... Potato internet. It's not potato internet. My potato internet is great, okay? Need a 4090 chat. You are literally full of... <sighs> this movie's to brains. <laughs> A limited okay fine look I'll turn it on if this some settings cannot be uh, applied until the next time a campaign or battle is launched continue yes okay potentially my computer is about to burst into flames um, use OBS I am using Streamlabs OBS which is basically the same okay Look, I have checked unlimited video memory. We're going to now pray to the machine spirit. If I move around the map and wiggle, you should basically see if it lags or not from your perspective. And we'll make our judgment based off of that. Because for me, like, Streamlabs OBS is looking fine. Are there actually... Please don't tell me that's what fixed it. No, there's no way that's that actually fixed it. For... <laughs> uh, chat fine uh 50 gifted memberships i owe you that i owe you 50 gifted memberships <laughs> you bastards you utter bastards <laughs> right we're gonna fight this battle i'll drop down a quick save because there's a chance i blunder it entirely um that is a win for the chat you did it reddit good job Oh my god. If it starts lagging again, it's not my fault. Okay. It's not my fault. Is chat smarter than Spiff? You cannot legally vote in that poll. That is a legal poll to vote into. Uh, do not touch it. <laughs> oh dear. You ever just, um, instead of chat, replace the H and re uh, with a B? 
and said you've got Seabat. Um, how did that work? I've got no idea. This is just like a, a prey to the machine, uh, machine spirits um, moment. Anyway, here we are. We're in the battle. Uh, channel magic, not needed. Not needed in the slightest. And here's why. We have four bobs. Uh, these bobs all have spells. Um, this is Soul Stealer. Soul Stealer costs eight winds of magic to cast. You will notice Soul Stealer does not cost eight winds of magic to cast. Uh, Streamlabs is actually not OBS. I know it, Streamlabs isn't OBS. It's very different. Um, but it is, for me, the most useful and intuitive streaming software. Yes, one day I might switch, but for now, no. Um, yes, this spell is meant to cost eight. It costs two. This spell is meant to cost six. It costs one. This also meant to cost eight. Eight. This one, I think, is meant to cost 12 or something like that. The Dwellers Below. 17. Okay, this spell is meant to cost 17 Winds of Magic. It costs three. Uh, healing is meant to cost five magic. It costs one. Um, Shield of Thorns is meant to cost seven. Tempest is ten. You're meant to be eight. And you're meant to be... Oh, Soul Steel is meant to be 16. Oh, wait, is this the... Yeah, okay, it's meant to be 16 Winds of Magic. Not today. Um, this is, of course, quite useful. Really, really quite useful. Slightly broken, some would say. Now, what would happen if you were to add in another aerial? The answer is it would go down even further. For even characters that aren't aerials, like, say, this wizard here, Flock of Doom is now, um, is now down to from six to just costing three, which is really, really impressive. Um, but yes, it's mostly these aerials here that are the most overpowered. So we're going to group them all up together and effectively everything else in the army is just going to loiter and distract. Uh, that is their job. Everyone else can just kind of like chill back here. We can have these eagles go in and die. I don't care about them because honestly, the sooner they die, the less maintenance I have to pay. Um, is this seriously smooth as butter? This is so much smoother. I can't believe that actually fixed it. Can it ever be a zero? Yes. Uh, we need a couple more aerials and then it does become zero. Anyway, uh, chat, place your bets. Who's going to get the most kills? Uh, Bob, Ariel, Ariel, or one cooler guy? Those are your choices. Let's begin. Start the battle. Okay, I'm going to go to a nice slow speed because I do like to think about my actions. Um, I'm also going to send in one of the towers here and the other tower here. There we go. I don't really care if the towers make it or not. It's more about sending a message, okay? That's what we care about. Um, and then, I think, yeah, we're doing good. We can just bugger on straight in. Oh, look, we can do magic-y stuff. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, we can cast Vol's Anvil on this wall. Ah, well, we might as well. Sorry, archers, dark shields, dark shields. No, goodbye, dark shields. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay, right. This is how the Aerials are going to enter now. They're all going to enter in through this hole in the wall. Okay, you there can go there. You can go here. Fantastic. And send in the Aerials. So, Aerials. Quite useful. Main spell here, Soul Stealer. Uh, what does it do? Drains life from the enemy and gives it to, um, to the caster. Now, I think all of them just cast Soul Stealer on the same location. Uh, it doesn't stack, but it does stack the healing for all of them, which is fine. They, a lot of them also have this healing ability, which is going to do something a little bit silly and basically rout all of the nearby units. There we go. So this unit is just buggered off um, because they're terrified. I'm then going to cast a uh, Shield of Thorns on one of the Aerials. This reflects damage back. Uh, we can then cast Dwellers Below, just like here somewhere. That'll be fine. Um, I want you to do a soul stealer on this unit. I want you to do a soul stealer on this unit. And yeah, we're just going to let the fun and chaos begin, ladies and gents. Oh, wow. Bob is doing great. Go, Eagles. Oh, look, the Eagles are like the weakest element in this entire format. I will send my lovely main person to go kill these these units here. Anyway, one cooler guy. You're up to eight kills. Good job. I'm going to drop a soul stealer down. Um... Bob here. Bob, how are you doing? Bob's on 24. Good job, Bob. Bob, I want you to cast a Tempest um, on just... Where, where is Tempest even cast? Oh, it has to be on a flying character, my bad. 
Uh, Dwellers Below is what I want you to cast. Just cast it like here. Fantastic. And then potentially cast a damage reflection on one of the other aerials. That's right, you can just cast, sorry, another lifesteal. Why not? More lifesteal. How about you? I would like you to cast a damage reflection on yourself to get more easy kills. Fantastic. Okay, Ariel. Like, sorry, not even Ariel. The Sisters of Twilight, genuinely, like, they're okay, but they do not last anywhere near as long as other lords. Okay, the Ariels here have done a great job. Um, we can take a look at the floor. There are quite a few corpses. Uh, and the Ariels, I've got to be honest, they're not looking as friendly as they once did. Uh, they've got a bit more blood on them. Um, I think Bob... It, Bob has killed 213 people. Oh my god, Bob. That is actually horrific. Anyway, one cooler guy. I want you to cast Soul Stealer on these guys. Bob, you're doing great. So I'm going to have you cast Soul Stealer on these guys. And um, can I even cast Fool's Anvil on like this shitty fortification? I think I might be able to. Who knows? Um, anyway, these guys are having their souls stolen. Ariel, can you cast Soul Stealer on these archers over here? Oh, wow. They just... Okay, one unit just got wiped out there. Bob, you're doing great. So can you just also cast... Oh, World of Pain? Isn't that useful? Okay, just cast Dwellers Below. Why not? Go for it. Go for it. You can also cast Dwellers Below. Just cast it on yourself. Oh! <gasps> Oh, there's a dude over here. Okay, right, you're ready to cast. I want you to cast this here. Um, one cooler guy. I also want you to cast Dwellers Below right here as well. Oh, this is just fantastic. Where's Bob? Bob? Okay, that's victory. That's victory. Cool, lovely, amazing. Uh, we can just end the battle right here. Um, and see how everyone did. Decisive victory, guys. Change the name to Bob the Butcher. Hell yes. For for the Doctor, a live stream that I get to watch live. Yay, thank you very much for your generous 50 bucks, my dude. Um, I will get a, a character named after you. Okay, so the winner is Bob with 233 kills. Um, that's pretty good. That is what I like to say, very good. Uh, Bob the Brutalizer. Um, <laughs> Bob, is, Bob is, yeah, 233 kills. We can see at the end, actually. It's just got to do a loading screen. Mm. Here we go. It divvies out the kills a bit fairly for the people that didn't get much. And Bob here. Actually, wait, it says Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. Oh, okay. All right, well, it's Bob. Um, Bob did 15,000 damage, which is really quite good. Good job, Bob. Uh, right, we'll raise this place to the ground. Goodbye. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. A unicorn. Cool. Butcher just being given to the Sisters of Twilight. Yeah, there's definitely Bob the Butcher here. Uh, Bob, congratulations, you're getting renamed. Bob the Butcher. There we go. Bob the Butcher. Can he kill it? Bob the Butcher. He's stealing your souls. It's just how it how it is. Um, <laughs> sing the words if you know them. Uh, right, what am I going to want to sink this into? Berry wine is good. Evergreen is also good. Plus control and decrease. Corruption can stack really nicely. You're up to rank 31. I didn't even know you could go above rank 30. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Um, what does this do? When casting... When literally casting anything, increase damage to all allies everywhere. Well, yes, that's just fantastic. That's just brilliant. Um, what about you? Ariel, uh, I will give you a ward save when you're casting. 10% physical resistance when casting seems great to me. Seems really, really good. You'll notice that also all of the hero recruit ranks and lord recruit ranks are getting boosted by each each Ariel we have. And speaking of which, we're ready to hire the next one. Um, chat, what would you like? Greg, Ched, or Ariel? Pick. Pick Greg, Ched, or Ariel. Um, the choice is yours. Whilst you pick, I'm going to rename one of our Ariels to... Fourth Doctor. Do, 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 do. Fourth Doctor. There we go. Bim. Wait, did I just say Bim instead of Bam? That's like, jeez. Uh, Flock of Doom. Do I want to upgrade Flock of Doom? It is a damage spell. And I could do with some kind of damage spell, really, in this army. Amber Spear's good. 
Amber Spear upgraded does do like a thousand damage. So yes, I will take that. And the Sisters of Twilight upgraded as well. Ah, who cares about the Sisters of Twilight? Plus 15% speed for Elven units. I think that is okay. Ooh, diplomatic bonuses. And casualty replenishment. And plus 15% physical resistance to all units. Oh, affects heroes. Plus 15% physical resistance to all of our to all of our bobs. Yes, hell yes, that's amazing. Right now, does this faction want to peace out? Uh, yes, but there's no point in piecing them out because they're at war with these people, and so by fighting them, uh, we will make more friendship with the Cult of Pleasure. Um, Cult of Pleasure should hopefully, hopefully like us eventually. Uh, I'm not going to spend five thousand to get a non-aggression pack though. Greg, okay, chat, you want Greg, so we will summon in the hero. Greg, um, wabam. Now, of course, we also get this forge, and this forge lets us do special things. Uh, one of them being give units, give unit stuff. Um, so, for example, which one of these is quite good? Recruitment cost and vigor loss wouldn't be the worst. Uh, melee defense uh, and twilight helm. Does twilight helm might be okay. Uh, dreaming cloak. Upkeep for all units in the army could be good. Winds of magic, we don't really need. Missile strength construction cost for all buildings. Uh, growth and campaign movement range. Hmm. Okay, I don't think that's too great either. Okay, I think I might just go for this dragon mask because it gives us more money and more money is more Gregs and so I think we can all agree. Oh, if we reforge it, plus 100%. Yeah, that sounds great. I would love a plus 100% loot. Okay, so we're going to equip this dragon mask to one of our lovely Ariels. It's going to go to Bob the Butcher. You know, it's a good prize. Congratulations, you murdered a bunch of people. Have more money. Um, I will also give you a fireball spell. Not that it really matters. <laughs> fireball kind of sucks in the grand scheme of things. You could also be given these ancillaries, which is a bit silly so we can give you more spell resistance we can give you uh reinforcement range doesn't matter we can give you armor and weapon strength and yeah i think that's probably all we want to give you but the fact that you can equip this guy as if they were an actual lord is absurd absolutely absurd anyway bam that seems good to me fantastic we're gonna probably leave the faction alone now um if they want to rebuild they can but i'm gonna bugger off back here to do a quest battle because quest battles give money um can you honestly get multiple sisters uh did the same with for and front i don't know i haven't tested it i honestly wouldn't be surprised if you could is spiff a vtuber yes i'm a virtual t youtuber um because i am a box of tea given sentience that is streaming that is how it works. Ooh, look at these. The Slaughterhorn tribe has come back to kill one of my areas. That is fine. Auto resolve. Sounds like we've got some people to murder next. That's okay. It's fine. We got ourselves a nice target. Uh, what do you want? You want trade agreement? Heck yes, I want a trade agreement. Friendship? I love the sound of friendship. Spiff law? Yeah, that, get it added to the... Um, to the wonderful Spiff Law Wikipedia page, please. Um, all right, we're going to bugger off in this direction as fast as possible. But fine, I'll go. These sisters are so sassy. They might as well be called the Sasters of Twilight, not the sisters. But um, that's a terrible joke. Anyway, Greg, come on down here, Greg. Get ready to join up with the army. Um, we've got a forest encounter over here. We'll deal with this quest battle. We'll probably deal with as well. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, I do think I'm gonna grab the boots. Where are they? The Twilight Dreaming boots for increased map movement speed. Yeah, plus 35% campaign movement range is exactly what we need on our current slow as fuck Sisters of Twilight. Right, end of turn. Let's go. The Sasters. The Susters. <gasps> Imposter detected. Um, you can also get infinite magic by casting the Amber Spear and moving during the cast time. It removes the cooldown. Doesn't spend wins, but still casts the spell. I think they've fixed that, though. 
Um, I think they fixed the whole start casting spell, stop casting spell. Um, what is this? You want me to join a war against some Skaven, and in turn you'll pay me. I look, we're friends, so I'm not going to do that because you're not going to hate me. So there's no point. Count the bobs. We've got some decent bobs. Um, five bobs so far. Does the minus twenty five percent off building stack? Well, sounds like sounds like we should find out, shouldn't we? Um, oh, migration! Yay, migration! Woo, faster growth is good. Oh, chaos is corruption is starting to get spicy in Hag Hall, but that's okay. We don't mind. Look, there was a pillage; it was going to happen. Um, all right, so we're going over here. We're going to get Greg added into the army. So that means we need to get rid of one of these. Add in Greg. Bam, Greg is in. So now we're up to five Sisters of Twilight. Um, they're looking quite quite mighty and twilighty. I think it makes sense that we go straight for... I think it makes sense that we go for this quest battle. Um, we might as well. I'm going to drop down a save. Uh, it does say that it's literally just the easiest fight in the universe, but they're going to get reinforcements. So maybe it'll be difficult. Maybe it will be difficult. <laughs> Here we go. Um, do, 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 do. Right, bam. Into the battle we go. What's with that mouse? It's off a bit. Look, the mouse is off. It, it's going to be off because my monitor is at a different resolution to what the game is running at. Um, that's just how it is. Right, here we go. Bam. Into the battle. Defeat Herdstone Guardians is the goal. That is our goal. Um, we can do that. Where's my dragon? Oh, it's it's Daenerys Targaryen. Where are my dragons? <laughs> right, I'm skipping all of this. Who cares? Who cares about the law? It's fine. You don't need to know about the law. Okay, bam. We're in. Um, we got our sisters. And we have our heroes. Oh, it's happened. Okay, right. Some of these spells are now free. Uh, Soul Stealer is now completely free to cast. So, can you guess what spell we're about to go cast? Right, in come the Ariels, in they come. Oh, some dude just lobbed a rock. Nice. Nice, you lobbed a rock. Um, what is this? Summons Safin Ha. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess I'll save that for some point in the battle. Anyway, uh, Soul Stealer on you. Uh, Soul Stealer on you. And Soul Stealer on you, I think is a good idea. There we go. Just gonna start stealing some souls. It's uh, it's a good idea, trust me. Uh, and we can just leave our armies like so. Who cares if they get ambushed? It really doesn't matter. Who cares if a rock is getting thrown at them? I don't get why he's trying to hit the bird with a rock. The odds of hitting the bird are kind of a bit slimmer. Anyway, dwellers below. We'll get a cast off here. We'll get a cast off uh, here. We'll get a soul stealer cast off here. And I'll also do a reflect damage on this one. Here we go. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Damage all coming in. I can pop a soul stealer on this one. Oh, you're doing fantastic as well. I'm also going to do a unhappiness attack. There we go. Drawn by the scent of elves, the beastmen surge towards their sacred herdstones. Okay. They're not doing much surging um, at the moment. Mostly... Dying is, is what I'm seeing. Uh, have I lost any units yet? Yes, 20 units have somehow died. What are these Deepwood Scouts doing? Why were they out there? What were you doing out there, you silly boys? Jeez, you silly, silly sausages. Right, okay, I want another Soul Stealer on this one. I, um... Well, they're just literally fleeing. Okay, Soul Stealer on that one. Uh, you over here, Ariel, can go kill this Saigor. How are we doing? Greg, I've... Okay, no, Fourth Doctor is in the lead with 50 kills. Good job, Fourth Doctor. I think you can potentially even get another cast off here. This would be insane. This would be really, really good. All right, let's see if it can be done. Oh, and we have a cast here. And we have what looks to be another cast here. Uh, in terms of quest battle... Um, I'm not feeling very questy. I'm feeling very, uh, very, this is a thing that is happening currently. Um, and 
ultimately there is no challenge in the slightest. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff behind us. Look at this. Look at this. Let's just send in all of our units to manually do this fight. There we go. Um, this is a thing that they can do. Can you cast Flock of Doom? Yeah, you can. You Flock of Doom up. You Doom them up. Uh, I'll also summon in the, the dragon. Why not? It can just loiter back here somewhere. Right. You cast. You're going to come back and help. Okay, Bob the Butcher. You're doing great, Ariel. Okay, you're just going to soul steal on top of yourself. You're also going to join the fray. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Soul Stealer. Oh, yes. You can also bugger off over here. Uh, we can also do a bit of leadership shenanigans. Fantastic. Dwellers below on top of yourself as well. Um, it, they literally can't take damage. None of these units can dish out enough damage to even hurt them. And even if they could, Soul Stealer is regenerating their health at the same time that it's leaving. Which, you know, creates a little bit of a problem. Um, and by that I mean quite a big problem, yes. Huge problem, in fact. Okay, how are my units back here doing? Uh, they're doing fine, absolutely fine. Okay, yes, this worked out completely okay. Wow. Um, what a What a fight is what I would say if this could even be classed as a fight. This cannot. Right, bam, you can cast like so. What are you boys? You are... Your anti-infantry unbreakable chaos spawn. Okay, looks so you got some fancy stuff. Good for you. Good for you. Let's get some dwellers below on top of you. Then we'll see how good you can do. Um, might as well get this dragon to go cast some breath or something. I mean, it is what dragons do. I feel like that's their job. He has to do it. Greg, uh, you haven't been given many opportunities to do anything. So go cast some stuff. Um, and well, the Sigor is just buggered off. Bless the poor little side. Well, he ain't got the best leadership. He's just a cute little dude trying to make his way in the world. And I think this is uh, the game. Um, well, the fight, at least. Uh, not much of a quest battle, but it was technically on paper a battle that did occur in history. It was. It, this is going down as one of the, uh, the, char the games of all time. Yes. Right, well, bam. Fast forward. Come on. Unbreakable Chaos Spawn, you done now? Are you also unbreakable? There is no way you could possibly still think you stand a chance. Okay, Ariel's deploy. Alright, look at this. We're just going to send them in. Bam, leadership. Bam, leadership. And then Soul Stealer. And then Dwellers Below. Let's, let's see how long they can last then. Yep, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh no, you don't want to fight. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame. You didn't actually want to fight. Oh, you poor noodles. Okay, well, Greg, 41 kills. Bob the Butcher, 22. One Cooler Guy got 47. Fourth Doctor got 326. And Ariel got 275. Good job, everyone. That is a, a good win for us all. Everyone is happy at the end of the day, except the people who had to fight us. They are not as happy by what happened. Yes. Wabam. Lovely stuff. Oh. Glorious, glorious, decisive victory. End battle. Bob got robbed. Uh, it's fine. Bob could probably solo an entire battle. The thing you have to remember about these characters is they are now so powerful, you could send them into any fight and you they'll just win. Solo. Literally just solo one of these people. Um... <laughs> Fourth Doctor is just ignoring his Hippocratic Oath. He is. I know. I can't believe it. We actually can't believe the fact that such a such a fine young doctor would go and murder 391 individuals. <laughs> right, do I want money, replenishment, or weapon missile strength? Uh, money. Give me money. Money. Right, lovely. So, we killed the quest thing. Got the big dragon um and most importantly five grand that's that's money we like money money is good uh what can we do with you growth and diplomacy movement range uh yeah i'm gonna go movement range oh we can do both and then this awesome oh this is fantastic oh this is going lovely Absolutely lovely. Right, then we've got you, Spell Slinger. You literally did nothing, but that's okay. You've got a unicorn now, so I can respect that. 
Ariel, you did great. So you can have, um, what can I give you? Uh, I'll give you the evergreen. Sure. Get rid of corruption. That'll be useful. You can also get, oh, what, what do you want? Replenish troops. I don't really think we need replenishment rakes. We're just not going to have troops in this army. You can have ripe pickings, which basically heals you. And you can also have, oh, you already have it. Um, tapestry of magic. There we go. Bam. Awesome. Cool. Right, let's wander into our own territory. Yes, I know it says there's corruption happening. However, corruption's about to go down by minus 20 due to nearby characters. <laughs> Sorry, we could just lower corruption by 20. 20. 20. That is absurd. Just, oh, yeah, sure, there's, tw there's chaos corruption happening here, except not next turn. Jeez. Okay, that's a bit crazy. Um, nice. Lovely. Get rid of corruption. That doesn't sound very imperialistic. Okay, look. You gotta have a little... You gotta dabble in your corruption, okay? Fourth Doctor says, My Hippocratic Oath states to save save the life by ending the suffering of of life against the great and powerful spiff. You see, that's, a, that's what all doctors have to swear. It's a little known fact, but if you want to be an NHS doctor, you have to swear an oath that you will save Spiff at any cost. Um, yeah, look, we were going to take attrition, but just didn't. Um, because we un the hell out of the place. Anyway, we're going to go over to here, into the Witchwood, because we want to do our experiment to see if we can lower the cost of things by a very nice large amount. Um, what's giving us corruption here? Uh, oh, it's this thing is a defiled blood ground. Okay, we've got to burn this thing to the ground and then it's okay. That's fine. Um, and we probably actually won't get the attrition anyway. Uh, it shouldn't... Oh, it has actually updated the prices. Okay, so it is now free and takes us one turn to build anything. Um, nice. I'm going to build this for free. I will upgrade this for free. I will build... Um, this looks good. What about this? Uh, control and corruption we don't really need. Upkeep for armies in region. But does give us a garrison. Garrisons are always nice. Cool. Yeah, I'll sink that in. Um, so that's exploit number, number two. Uh, and the reasoning why it's so powerful is this is technically also now infinite money. Because we can demolish the building that we build next turn for free. And then rebuild it instantly. Like, we just want to find a, a building that would normally cost a lot of money. Uh, which we can't even tell what that would be. Probably like this building, I think, costs a decent bit. Um, and then just burn it to the ground instantly and rebuild it. What have I done, Brit? Uh, the game is running at peak performance, right? We're going to hire another character. It's going to be Chad. Chad, you're in. Right, bam, getting rid of this Glade Guard. You're redundant now. Goodbye. Chad, you're up. Um... <laughs> We're also making more money. We're now up to making 2,380. This is because our income is getting boosted by the characters nearby. So, um, the Witchwood, the... This is not the Witchwood. This is the... It's the Bitchin' Wood. Hell yeah. It's great. So much great wood stuff happening here, but or nearby to here. It's amazing. Uh, Technology-wise, we're also getting cooldown on our spells, which is lovely. That will come in next turn. Cooldown on Law of Life. Um, we're mostly casting Law of Giga Murder, so less needed. Less needed, but that's okay. I'll take it. Oh. Richwood. Yes, actually, that's true. It is the it is the Richwood. T-Wood. Uh, well, we've got another tree that we could call the T-Wood. We do own two trees. Two large trees. That's right. Two whole trees. Oh. Uh. Redo the Witchwood upgrade. Um, I don't think it will actually reduce it because the Witchwood upgrade is like 20 turns or something like that. No, one of the factions is dead. What? No. No, Orion, how? Orion, you were meant to live, you silly fool. You silly fool, Orion. Uh, oh, it's Torox, the brass bull. Torox. Torox, my friend, Torox. 
Okay, Ched, you don't get to join in on this fight, but it's okay. Torox, uh, my beloved friend, um, how about no? And you just you just don't get to do anything you want here. Um, bam, we're in. Colonize or do nothing? Uh, well, apparently I can't colonize, so I just have to do nothing. I don't think I can colonize because Torox is literally standing here. Oh, I, I have to slay the blood ground, right? Something like that. I have to go up here and kill Torox. Ah, it's fine. Who cares? We'll work it out. Uh, let us learn diplomacy from one of these, right? No, there is no diplomacy here. Uh, is there anything useful here? Plus 10% diplomacy with all factions could be good. Yeah, I'll do that. Plus 10% diplomacy with everyone will make people happy. So I will research that, even though it costs money. It's fine. Right, all of our buildings just got built. Uh, they can be demolished for 1,200. That's how much that one could be demolished for. So that's an extra 1,200 per tick if we want it per turn. Um, maybe I could demolish it. I don't know. I don't feel like it's it's safe. Oh, we can perform the ritual. Uh, enemies will attack the region, defend it until the ritual is complete for additional rewards. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, I will... I'll defend it. Why not? And I'll also get my boots that are made for walking. And I will give them to you. Please, can you take these boots so you can actually walk fast? Thank you. There we go. Bam. Lovely. Okay. Uh, let's see how the world is doing over here, seeing as our friend just got murdered. Uh, yes, it would appear the dwarves just came in. And beat the ever-living hell out of them. Belagar Ironhammer. Well, you sound lovely. You sound absolutely lovely. Right, well, hey, we have a... You ha we have an outpost from an, from an ally here. That's okay. What are you even doing? Uh, I'm going to say you can stimulate growth. You're pretty much useless, but that's okay. I don't care. Thank you for the boots, Biff. It's okay. I thought you needed them. Everyone needs the boots. Yay the dwarves. Not yay the dwarves. The dwarves don't like trees. They kind of have like quite a big anti-tree anti -tree thing going on. Ooh. Troop replenishment rate. Cleanse corruption. Uh, uh, that's actually better than cleanse corruption by a very large margin. Alright. Look at this. There is meant to be so much corruption here. There's meant to be like... 20 corruption per turn and yet we're somehow lowering the corruption just with our sheer presence I know Belagot what the hell dude yeah dwarves have axes dwarves chop trees it is just the way life works uh, you're supposed to go for eight peaks not the oak tree yeah like it's it's wild anyway Faye Enchantress is here they want me to join the war against Grom the Paunch Gotta be honest, I would, but you actually look like you're kicking Grom's ass, which was amazing, because you were, you were one province minor not that long ago. I'm going to decline, but thank you for thank you for the idea. Uh, you might have inserted ads accidentally. Sorry, chat. Connor, jeez. If you've just received an ad, I'm sorry. Connor is sorry. He apologizes. Um, can I colonize this yet? No, I can't. Okay, right. Ched, you're in the army join and now let us kill Torox. Torox where are you going? Oh Torox flees like a little crybaby. Alright Torox let's just kill you. Decisive victory? Yeah I'm not even gonna fight that one. Um, Torox the brass bull is dead. Uh, let us get a cheeky bit of money. Oh we got two grand from that fight. Oh that is nice. And armor piercing and charge bonus. Lovely. Right, over towards Torox's lands we go. We're off to see the Torox, the horrible beastie of the north. He's angry, he's angry, he's angry, he's angry. He's always angry, that's literally his only personality trait. Um, let's go for scouting. And you have been buffed, so you can go for cleansing. There we go, it's going fine, it's going fine. Is this the forest encounter? Is this what I'm meant to also deal with? I don't think so. I don't think I need to mess about with that. Look at this. It's so expensive now. It takes 
takes so much more time to it, this costs four grand six grand Ugh, expensive i'm not spending any money on it though because i'm a lazy git what is this amber okay right yes we get that from healing forests and stuff um i like money so i'll go for this one and i'll just enter there we go there we go Oh, hello, Avalon. Are you going to be friendly? Yes, you want trade agreement and money. I want your capital city, which I know you can't give to me because it is really good. It is really, really, really good. Oh, Connor's doing his best. We love him. Look, you can love Connor, but what's he up to? What's he doing? There's there's malice behind those those loving, loving ginger beards of his. Friendship for the win? I don't know if if friendship is going to win us the game I think it's more likely to be a large quantity of murder um, I think it's more likely to to sway it towards us anyway oh we've got a fight here can we make it the entire way no we can in cap we're no longer taking attrition we would take attrition as soon as we step into there so I will encamp my way up to here is good we will get a heal off and then we'll go straight into Torox's one remaining settlement and just wipe him from the game this this soon lovely he doesn't have any other territories right no I, I really think he is just down to one. Oh, this is wonderful okay enter T for the T god indeed it is Oh, first live stream otherwise love the channel and videos cheers thank you Matthew means a lot I hope you enjoy the live stream uh, live spiff is of course a little bit different he, he, oh. mm. those dastardly bone boys oh, dear. I gave you money I gave you 700 gold 700 god what more could you want from me bone boys now i have to go in there and raise all of their lands to the ground oh do you have any idea how much that inconveniences me you, oh right the great stack sure lows corruption why not that's all i need to see okay right in we go i notice we can also claim the sword of cain which might be really fun uh to give ariel the sword of cain uh, what is this? Auto resolve? This is an auto resolve. All of the aerials did great. Fantastic work from all of them. Lovely stuff. Let's just raise that to the ground. Goodbye, Slaughterhorn tribe. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Yay, normal territory now. No more corruption. No more corruption. And now I have to go and murder the Bone Boys. But luckily, the Bitchin' Wood, it's well defended. Bitchin' Wood is really well defended. Uh, I think I could also recruit another Alarial. No, Ariel can be recruited next turn. That's fine. Right, end turn. Can you give them all the sword? No, only one of them could get the sword. I don't think I can get multiple swords out there. Um, it's just not possible. Right. Oh. With regret, I must declare you mm. enemy. What is this? Hi, Wizenland. Uh, you want a peace treaty? Yeah, I'm fine for a peace treaty. Um, they basically just attacked me like a absolute stinky. But yeah, I think peace makes sense uh, because I don't even have to fight them. We didn't even attack. Like, he just declared war and never even got close to my territory, so... Sure, that's fine by me. Uh, can I fix this territory now? Temple of Adiaioth. Colonize. Bam. And fix this place instantly. In one turn. Province secured. Lovely. Province is secured. Oh, wonderful. Look at this. Territories. We are improving nature. Nature is healing, chat. Nature is healing. <laughs> Uh, I'll get you Greater Arcane Conduit. 
Yeah, give me Great Trial King Conduit. That's so much better. Sweet. And you are Wrath of the Wood. Cool. Lovely. The Deep Roots? How are the Deep Roots doing? Okay, we can do a Ritual of Rebirth here. And honestly, we might as well. Because we're just going to be defending our territory from the Bone Boys. So why not also... Yeah, why not also just bundle it all in together at the same time? Ritual of Rebirth, everyone tries to murder us all at the same time. Happiness for all. Um, what's this? Money from battles, gain additional health for winning battles in Magical Forest or the Heartlands? Yes, heck yeah. We're going to be winning lots of battles in the, in the Heartlands, so this is worth it. Oi, Spiff, I bet my coffee can outlast your tea and streaming stamina. I bet you're streaming before me. Love you. Yes, look. Okay. I'm sorry, Legend. My streaming stamina might only be two hours, but I intend to live a nice, long, happy life. I don't intend to be dead by the time, like, I'm, I'm 40. Um, why do you think I've managed to live to the ripe old age of 874? Uh, it's entirely thanks to drinking tea and not doing subathons. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're doing good, Legend. Lovely to have you here. Um, but yeah, Legend, I don't know. You, you probably have seen this before. Uh, I don't know, but it's good fun. Uh, just having multiple aerials, um, stacking all of their modifiers. So like, I don't know, look, these buildings, they're free. and We can pick whatever we like. Um, what do I even want here? None of these are useful in any way, shape or form. Oh, income for raising settlements in adjacent regions. We have been doing that a lot, so sure, why not? Okay, and in we go. Let's go defend the glade with our Giga Aerials. If I win, you got to drink coffee. And say it's really scrum diddly umptious. What is the challenge, Legend? If you win, I'll do the same for tea. What is the challenge that I have to stream longer than you? Is that literally the challenge? I have to stream for longer. I, that's not that's not humanly possible I'm not I'm not a my my noggin my poor noggin all right anyway I'll go to this battle my brain can only last for two hours after two I'm like asleep there's a few exceptions maybe pretty epic challenge I don't know he can't do it I can't do it all right we got clan molder here um they're wanting to do something they want to burn our tree down um we don't like that we want to kill them can you turn lag off look i've got no clue this game just does not like obs oh my god or oh. there we go it did render yay why is the frame rate so bad i don't know obs streamlabs obs hates this game okay it's all good live a long life thank you legend i will um Legend, how do you stream this game, and why does it not lag horrifically for you? Um, <laughs> genuine question, because I've tried to stream this game like three times, and it has happened every time. Only when I'm streaming. Like, if I am in, if I'm recording, no problem. Streaming, terrible. Turn, just slide the, 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 just slide the no lag slider. You're right, chat. You're really, you're great. It makes perfect sense. I'm running like a, this is like, look at look at the background settings. Look, NVIDIA 3090 Ti, right? 25 gigs of visual memory. Two PCs. Two PCs is not the solution here. Two, poli two PCs is not the solution in the slightest. Anyway, Ariel's, um, where have they even got to get to? They've got to get to like, here right this is where the escape point is so logically you just line up all of the aerials and have them walk in front yeah i think that makes sense right i'm just gonna hide all of my infantry at the back of the map because they provide no advantage to this engagement wizard as well you're useless uh sisters of twilight you can you can do something you can you can just i don't know fucking flap up here some something like that bam start deployment um, turn off unlimited memory. You told me to turn on unlimited memory, chat. What's make up your mind? Unlimited memory or not unlimited memory? Anyway, right, straight in we go. You need to move a little bit to like here. Oh, what have you got? Oh, play claw catapults. 
Yo, I love play claw catapults. That's so cute. I ain't seen any of those in ages. Anyway, we will actually do a little, little stinky breath. Right. Um, time for you to cast some magic. So, Soul Stealer, right in the middle of the rat, rat spam. Soul Stealer, right here on these rats. Um, you're gonna cast Reflect Damage here. You're gonna cast. Oh, Soul Stealer, probably on these rats here. You're gonna go deeper and cast the Dwellers Below right here. Uh, because it doesn't cost anything. If I overcast it, it does cost, but for its base price, it does not. You're gonna cast the one around the side here so they can't escape it. Right, and Ariel, you're just gonna sit up here and get shot at because that's fine. Sorry, not Ariel. Whatever the fucking sister of, sister of Fing. Uh, oh, yes, I can lower everyone's loyalty. That would actually work really well. Sure. Soul Stealer. Oh my god, that's such a big pile of rats. I need a Soul Stealer right in the middle of this rat pile. Hit the center of the rat pile. Get the rat pile. Go. Soul Stealer on all of the rats in the rat pile. <laughs> Just whoever gets the most kills wins a crunchy bar. Ched, you haven't even cast like two spells, so get to work. The entire map is a sea of bloody purple. Okay, uh, you want to cast some dragon stuff? Oh wow, they are shooting at my dragon. You wouldn't shoot at a dragon, that's rude. Rude. Dwellers below, cast it on yourself. Greg, you giant champion. Uh, Ched, get ready to cast this. Uh, Bob the Butcher, you're doing great, my dude. Do you want to cast a, um, a soul siphon on these rats that are trying to run away? And then we'll get you hooked up into the main engagement. Right, here we go. Dwellers below. Get ready to cast that luck over here. You need to run over here. Actual aerial. Bam, you're doing great. Oh, yeah, this combat is going lovely. Absolutely lovely. Ooh, what are you? Your rattling guns. Oh, you can definitely have, have some soul stealing. Mmm is below. Let's slap that down here. I can't believe, like, soul stealing is just so stupidly powerful. It's such a strong amount of damage. It also heals you. There, there's, like, literally no negatives to casting it. It is just a straight W. Endlessly straight W. Oh, clan rats. Hello, clan rats. Do, 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 do. Oh, and that's a victory. Okay, well... That's pretty good. Anyone ready to uh, fire off a another another volley? Greg, you've done good. Bob the Butcher, you did great. I think Greg definitely by far here. MVP Greg. Uh, I'm just going to cast Soul Stealer right in the middle of that group because if it fires, I think it is actually going to just get even more kills. Yep, there we go. Look at the kill count. Go, Greg. Look at it go. Oh, Greg, I'm so proud. Good job. Good job. Right, end battle. GG. That's a nice win. Rats have warpstone tea. I don't think they do. I think they're just mad and completely insane. Um, that's just kind of how the rats are. Try plugging your PC directly into a nuclear power plant. That should work probably, maybe. I don't think that's how Warhammer functions. Don't know if that would improve the gameplay. <laughs> oh, dear. What is this? Right. Uh, we get some experience. We get some money. I'm going to say I would like more money because more money is more good. So that's a good win. Uh, then there's another imminent forest invasion over here. Cool. I will take that. Fantastic. Lovely. Ched got an upgrade. Is this the rat army that we just fought? Yes. And now it's just messing about over here. Fine. Okay. Right, Ariel, you need to be upgraded. You can get both of these. Good job. You there, you need to be upgraded. You can get Cleanse Corruption. Ugh. Literally the worst. Fourth Doctor, congratulations. You can level up even more. I don't know, just whatever the heck this all is. One cooler guy, you also get another, another level up. Bam. More healing. Not that you even need more healing. It's just not possible for you to run out of health. And Ched... You can also get more healing. Why not? Bam. Perfect. 
Oh, all in all, good job. We can recruit a another Ariel. Let us recruit this one. Fantastic. And can I build some stuff? Yes, I can. Um, I think I have to wait a turn for them to be in this region. Oh, no, no. It has literally just all fired. Minus 150% construction time. Okay. I'm going to build the Great Hall next turn. I'm going to build this in a few turns time. I'm going to build... Oh, is there any any economy stuff here? This requires population, which we don't have. Anything that doesn't require population could be good. Maybe going all the way up to a tree man. I don't, but we don't need tree man. What's tree man going to do? Faction wide minus two percent construction cost for all buildings is r completely redundant. Um. I'm just gonna go and upgrade this, why not? And then I'll upgrade... Gosh, there really isn't much... Okay, fine. Forest Lookout and this thing. We'll just have uh, like as big a garrison as humanly possible so we can just leave this entire region alone. Uh, we've got no lords that we can put into any of this, so we don't need to worry about it. I will, however... Uh, Diplomatic relations with high elves is maybe a good idea. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, diplomatic relations with all high elves is probably a splendid idea. That will work out for the best. Okay. Oh. Spiff, I can help populate. What do you mean you can help populate? What do you mean? What do you mean you can help populate? That doesn't make logical sense. Anyway, we've got seven turns where we just have to hold this tree. Um, from armies that can't even kill a single one of our units. That's that's the situation we find ourselves in. This is where we are. Kind of sad I'm late to the stream. Uh, good thing I made up, uh, made it after sleeping in this. Uh, yeah, look, congratulations. I hope you had a nice sleep. Welcome to the stream. Um, one cooler guy saying popular in all caps doesn't make sense. Chat, you can't just say words and have me be like, mm, yes, yes, I mm, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yes, of course, of course, yes. Mm, it all makes sense now. Yes, when you say it like that, chat. Wait, wait, we can all help to populate. Yes, you can all help to populate. That still doesn't mean I want to see your attempts at it. <laughs> Oh dear. Master Mason, minus 7% construction cost for all buildings. Oh, that's useful. That's going to be really useful. Yeah, woo. Um, Alright, these are all about to attack soon. Honestly, I, I'm kind of fine with them all attacking at exactly the same time. I think it would be funny. Uh, right, we're going to do this. Yep. And... I'm just going to sit my army next to my capital and see what the AI does. I'm just going to get rid of another Glade Guard. Don't need it. Weapon. Weapon. Aerial. Aerial, can you not... Aerial, can you... Are you slightly bugged trying to get into this army? You are. Oh, it, I didn't delete the unit. That's my bad. Boop. There we go. And you're in. Wabam. Fantastic. Right. Into the settlement we go. Upgrade this. I think we're looking pretty, pretty good. What's this forge that I can do? Select this to give it temporary powers. Oh, for five turns we'd get that. Uh, that's not useful. All right, I'm going to say... Do, 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 do. Income from post-battle loot I do want, so I will sink some points into that. And then... Spell resistance, not useful. Flaming attacks, maybe useful. Missile resistance, none of this is useful. Like, literally none of the upgrades. It's it's almost like the minus, yeah, minus 107 percent construction cost. It's fine. Don't question it, chat. Don't question it. Um, oh, you want a non-aggression pact? Heck yeah. Friendship. We're Welcome to the friendship gang, chat. It's time for friendship. We're here to have the friends. That dragon thing has free buildings. Um, look, the dragon isn't giving us free buildings. What is giving us free buildings is the fact that we have seven copies now of the exact same 
legendary hero that you're only ever meant to have one copy of. Okay, that is what is granting us this giant lovely advantage. Right of Awakening performed. Um, Confederation. And the invasion begins! Look at it. Oh, the invasion is here. Oh no, what if they start corrupting our territories? What if they start what if they start giving us scaven corruption? Oh wait, they can't. They can't. It's physically impossible. <laughs> it's just not even possible. Um do I even want this upgraded? Not particularly. I'm gonna save up until I can get this thing that gives more money. Yes, money. Money, money, money. Or maybe the wine. The wine nexus. I'm sorry, you go from a, a you go from grapevines to a vineyard to a winery to a wine nexus. What that that sounds like quite the step up. Quite the step up indeed in terms of like skills or quantity of wine produced. Uh somewhere gives us twenty dollars to say, love your content, Spiff. Hope this is enough for some tea. It is. Twenty dollars is surprisingly enough for some tea. Oh my goodness, the rats are attacking. Oh no. Oh dear, however will I survive? No. Oh dear. I'm going to say not to control a large army. I'm just going to control my heroes. It's time for the great defense. Battle of the Bitchin' Wood. Yeah, let's go. The great battle of the Bitchin' Wood. The, <laughs> the Skaven thought they could defeat us. But no, the last stand of Bitchinwood is here. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get some music for this one. I'm really gonna get some music for this one. Here we go, bam. Um, YouTube. Here we go. Metal Gear Rising OST, you know it, you know it has to be this. <laughs> it has to be the Metal Gear Rising OST. <laughs> right, which one are we going for? Uh, let's go for, uh, which one? Hot Wind Blowing is good. Actually, I'll go for Red Sun. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Here we go. It's the Battle of Bitchin' Wood Chat. Hope you're ready. We've got Ariel times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone else is just gonna sit on the cap point. Uh, along with our commander, because we don't need them to die. Right. Time for the hero ball. Right, here we are. I will actually send two of them onto this flank on the left. Oh, actually, wait, I could just block it and then they have to go through the main entrance. Yeah, I just built a platform. And a... Oh no, there's a blocker. Sure, bam. Okay, there we go. Two blockers, which should funnel them through the center and make the fight easier. Let's go. Start battle. Bingo. Oh, yes. Red Sun over Paradise. Here we go. Okay, with all of these heroes in a battle together, um, it means that every spell is now completely free. Healing spell is free. Tempest does cost one. However, we're never going to use it. Soul Sealer is our spell. It is good. It is very, very good. Right. Let's go in and uh, melee a whole bunch of rats. I will leave four, no, three here. Three here to hold this choke point. Uh, if we actually have them hold this choke point, they can cast spells over here. Okay, so. You're going to be able to cast the first spell, Soul Stealer. I want it straight on these Night Runners. Okay, we are going to get a few counter spells. Oh, wait, no. We're not, actually. I'm going to cast a, a spook, which is going to scare the heck out of this Doom Flayer. Oh, we've got more units here. Lovely. This is exactly what I was looking for. Right, more Soul Stealer on the back unit. Right, here we go. I'm going to then cast Dwellers Below right here. That's going to hit the rats when they come on in. You're doing great, my dude. I'm going to put Shield of Thorns on you so you don't take any damage. Fantastic. Okay, now you guys, you're all in combat, which means Soul Stealer. It means from you as well, on a Soul Stealer on those range units at the back. 
I want a Dwellers Below right here. And for you, oh, Soul Stealer as well. Yep, popping a Soul Stealer right here, just doubling up. Okay, they are going to try and break down these barricades, but that's completely fine. You're just going to need to barrel on into that. Look at how many units are just sat there. Just kill those units. There's like a hundred thousand rats. Kill the rats. Go kill the rats, Ariels. Fireball. Okay, yeah, you can fireball. Go fireball. Why not? It's a free spell. You might as well. Wait, all of our spells are free. Oh, you're just going to flee. You're just going to flee. Okay, cast Soul Stealer, and then they're all going to die, and they're never going to come back. That's them broken for good. All right, how about you? Have you got a Soul Stealer ready? You have. Okay, I want to cast it on those clan rats. Here we go. Okay, our commander can also step in here and cast a bit of Dragon Breath. Okay, all of these... Um, all of these units are buggering off, uh, so we can now cast a Soul Stealer on you, Warbrock Gisales, and then we're just going to cast Dwellers Below on literally the entrance point and the point after the entrance. All of these rats are just going to be murdered as soon as they step in. Soul Stealer, bam, go. Go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. Dwellers Below also right behind us. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right, you. Are you ready for a soul steal? Not quite. You are. Free soul steal on Warplog Gisales. I want you to run over here as well. Soul steal on you. You're going to come around and fight these clan rats. Oh, this is going fantastically. Especially over here. This is going to be just an absolute bloodbath. Soul steal. Just if they can't leave the choke point, we can just stack the same murder spells on all of them. Right, latest unit that came in. Let's get you hit with one. You're right here. You're going to cast the Dwellers Below right here. Oh, yes. Another Dwellers Below right here. You guys are going to do so much damage in such a short space of time. It's going to be horrible. Um, I'm going to have you go kill their commander. Why not? Okay, Soul Steel on Clan Rats. Soul Steel on Rat Ogres. Let's run over here and I want a soul steal on these Warplock Gisales. There we go. Fantastic. Lovely. Oh my goodness. I think, yep, yeah, the entire reinforcement army here routed and they've just sent in another. They've sent in another. You wouldn't send in another reinforcement army. You wouldn't. Oh no, you poor boys. You poor silly, silly boys. Okay, well, more soul steal. You wouldn't. Okay, let's um, cast also some demoralizing. I think I've got some loyalty negatives. Come on. Steal their souls. It's a very Wood Elf thing to do, I'm sure. They're all about stealing souls, right? Right? What do you mean it's not a Wood Elf thing to steal the souls of your enemies? <laughs> or soul stealing. Okay, you're doing great. Have you got a fireball? You have. Cast fireball there. Oh, you're doing great as well. I want a soul steal here. And that's a victory. That is actually a victory. That is absurd. Oh, that is absurd. Oh, my goodness. What a great battle. How many losses? None. 3,000. 3,000 rats. Zero losses. Zero losses. You cannot counter the soul steal. You just cannot. Oh my goodness. Right, soul steal on you. Oh my good lordy lord. You've done fantastic, all of my units. Right, who's done the best? Fourth Doctor, 98 kills. Good stuff. One cooler guy, 24. Bob the Butcher, 348. Greg, 332. Ched with 169. Ariel with 464. That's got a, That's the win. That is the win right there. One of these units, actually, they got 100 kills each. That's not bad. That is not bad. Right, end battle. Not bad at all. Squeaky clean, my friend. Squeaky clean. Right in time for it has to be this way. It does. Look, you try and fight with all of those stinky rats. It's just not going to work. No kills. No kills. I don't think I've ever seen rat ogres 
not get a kill. They are like... Oh, Doom Wheels even. Oh, Warplock Gisales. They're like the highest damage dealer. They always get like one kill at least because each shot normally kills. But no, this this unit here did 40,000 damage. That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to take um, the one grand. Oh, these poor little, little silly rats. You silly rats. You thought you could kill a god? You thought you could defeat me? Clan Molder got hit by a boulder? That is the famous saying. Uh, what about you? Do you want war or peace? Military access, you can have it. We can make friends with them, uh, because we do start a war with them, but I think they're going to be friendly. It's fine. They're like a one province star kill. Right, cool. Um, I think it's safe to say that the Skaven ain't looking too great. It's a decisive victory. Straight in we go. You're dead. Apparently we lost 52 men. I refuse to believe how that is possible. All of the spells are free. It doesn't make sense that we could even reasonably lose a character. Right, you, you die as well. You're dead. Oh, wow. The great, the great battle of Bitchinwood. What a glorious fight it was. <laughs> what a glorious battle. Wow. Um, I think I think we're safe now. <laughs> I don't think there's much else that could be sent our way, to be honest. Right, I'll let. Uh, I just, I love, I love it has to be this way. It's just too much of an addictive song. It really is. It's like, it's Moorish. Very Moorish is the only way I could describe it. Oh. Right. Uh, great invocation performed by the Exiles. Okay, they did a thing. They cast a ritual. They've got a whole bunch of heroes around here um, that's fine we can just ignore them that's fine uh, the great bitch in woods looking great three more turns to go until it's it's completely safe uh, which is fine uh, I don't even think we need to do anything but we might as well just occupy it and just wait three turns let's see what our opponents can even do in that time And that wasn't a battle, battle that was a massacre. Um, yes, uh, I, I would 100% agree. That was, that was actually horrific. I don't think I've seen battles quite as one-sided like that in, in a while. Especially normally when you're doing battles like that and you have one horrifically overpowered character. Um, it's good, however, uh, that one character doesn't often have many utility bonuses. They're like great for murdering in battles, and as soon as the battle's over, they're useless. Whereas for these guys, um, they're also completely overpowered economy beings because, yeah, they allow us to build buildings for free and instantly, and they they're increasing our income by like an insane degree, which is wonderful. Thank you. I can recruit another one of you. I will recruit one more one. And we can see that, look, we're making 2,893. Well, I recruit another. And next turn, I will make even more. Uh, because you have the on fertile ground. Which is wonderful. So, end turn. 2,895. We end turn. And it should go up by 5%. Spiff, are you ordering food tonight? Uh, I can do, maybe. Unless you want to bring food back with you. I would prefer homemade food. It is up to you. Um, but yes, Mango, whatever you choose. Likes for Georgie? Yes, of course. You legally have to like the stream for Georgie. Georgie likes likes. Um, it makes her happy. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, Ariel, you're doing great and lovely. Just vibing. Just 
vibing in the the great bitchin woods um oh we got a forest encounter that's literally the other side of the map do not need to worry about that in the slightest uh we can take over these forests as well and if we do we get bonuses like um what is this this is like income from trade plus 30 percent Eh, that's pretty good oak of ages is the big one though um oak of ages is the big one um we will eventually get that in fact we could probably send over our like lord soon and just max out the oak of ages in like four turns uh might be a good idea anyway this is now up to 2995 i'll stack ariel inside of our army by getting rid of one of these terrible archer units in you go ariel wabam um and now we spend more money getting the winery up and running. Yeah, this is good. I really want that wine nexus just because it sounds absurd. Unless, what are you? You are 4,000 to... Uh, I think you do give us more trade resources. You do. You're going to make us more trade income in the short term. How about you? No, you're not as good. Okay, cool. We're going for the artisan nexus for the money. Money, money, money. And next turn, uh, we can... We're going to be done on this ritual, uh, and the bitch and wood will be properly ready, properly ready to rumble. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, you're not late. You're not late. You're here. You're here in time for the exploits chat. Don't worry. You don't need to apologize for not being here on time. Oh, Carcassonne. Hello, Fae Enchantress. You want me to join war against Clan Skya? In turn, you will give money. I don't. I'm. I'm not going to take that. I don't really need money anymore. We've we're set for cash. Um, yeah. I think less war, more good. Ooh. Ritual of regrow rebirth succeeded. Yay! Treasury. Deep roots cleared. Minus five cooldown for deep roots. And we get an amber. And the queen emerges. Ariel's here. Oh my goodness. The recent efforts of healing the glades of the world have roused Ariel. She will lend you her strength. Ariel, oh my goodness, I've never seen you before. You've also got all of the unique equipment. <laughs> Ariel, oh my. Hi Ariel, I'm your biggest fan. Um I'm look, look at all of these posters of you I have. Um cool, we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Ariels. Um This is useful. This is uh very useful, I would say. Another one, in the wise words of DJ Khalid, another one. <laughs> Right, let's upgrade this to Temple of Anaf Arima. And then, I think we have to go murder the Tomb Kings. Unless they want peace. Do you want peace? No, you don't want peace. Fine, right. We're going to have to kill them once and then and then we'll be fine. Right, so, over we go. Let's turn on the... Oh, we can use wo world roots. Does that allow us to literally teleport here? Yes, it does. Okay, bam. I'm just going to teleport here. Huzzah! Look, I'm closer than you expected. Um, and what about you? Air eh, speed of hunter, increase speed of units, increase your resilience or whatever. You there, lady with beast powers. Um, magical reserves, sure. Aerials. Look, you're all doing great. Like, there's, there's nothing I, I even need to teach you. You are just objectively... Fantastic, each and every one of you. I want you to hold your head up high. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you stand for. And what you stand for is the mass murder of literally anything that isn't an aerial. Um, it's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, do I want to go for... What of Pain? What of Pain just doesn't do damage. I don't see the point of taking something if it doesn't do damage. I've, I want to murder my enemies, not tickle them. What's the point of that? All right, Greg, you're a great Ariel. Get buffed. You're also a wonderful Ariel. Get buffed as well. There we go. Oh, 
Fantastic. Gifts for everyone. Okay, end turn. Lovely stuff. Oh. Hey, Spiff, you should check out Kingdoms Reborn again. There's a lot of new stuff. Oh, yeah, I think I did see that they've... Um, they have actually... Yeah, they've changed it a bunch. Um, I think I might have played it on stream with the Yogs recently. Like, not that recently, but like... A little while ago. It was really, really good fun. Any more animated videos in the works? Yes, we have one for Fallout 4 coming very soon. Very, very, very soon. Is there a legendary character that increases your movement range that you could duplicate like Ariel? I uh, would love to see you walk across the entire map each turn. Um, theoretically, yes. Uh, it is 100% possible you could just stack enough Ariels and equip all of the Ariels with like movement speed modifiers to boost your your like leader and you could um the issue is the game has now capped movement at 150 percent so the max movement you could do is uh, 150 um you just can't do more the only way to do more is if you can refresh your movement which you can do with certain characters anyway um bone boys fight clear to halfland yeah clear to halfland why not well bam lovely Fantastic. Oh, we're doing great. Right. How do you feel about peace now, Mr. Skeleton? Oh, now you feel like you want to give peace a chance. Oh, curious, curious, curious. Right. Well, there we go. Peace it is. Uh, they're not going to be able to declare war on us for a little while, so I'm fine with that. And I just don't want to go fight skeletons. There's just no need. They're just not that good in terms of fighting. Anyway. Ariel, you've leveled up. Uh, I'd love you to get on fertile ground. I can't do that. Instead, I must give you unbreakable. Wabam. Fantastic. Next turn. Peace and friendship is the way. It is the way. Look, we're wood elves. We are tree-loving wood elves. Just join. What shenanigans are you up to today? Well, the goals are on the left. The goal is to break the economy, break the game, and break magic. And we've done that. Morafi, you wouldn't. Uh, Morafi, I was just about to leave this area alone. Alone, I tell you. Alone. You want to show down in the bitchin' wood? You think you could? You think you could even survive one? Ah. I can't believe it. Morafi, I can't believe you've done this. Hmm. Does Valkyr have refresh movement? Yeah, I think Valkyr, um, Valkyr, Taurox, the Breast Bull, and like most of the corn ones do. Right. Uh, what is this? Avalon calls for aid in the Green Vale. Um, oh, wow, you really do call for aid. What happened to the tree? Avalon, you killed the bloody tree. You have one job look after tree. Your job is to look after the tree. You have not looked after the tree. Right, that's it. I'm taking over the tree. What do we get? Temple of Asia, if we get control of it. Uh, fine, right. We, I'm literally going to come in, come in here, take control of it. You're not allowed it. You're terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right, bam. Stance. Use under roots. Fast travel here. Um, right, if I click on this magical forest. No, that's not how it works. Okay, wait. Select army. Zoom out. Select. Ah, oh, click to instantly teleport the selected army to this magical forest via the deep roots. Um. Yeah, we just kind of might as well. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm just going to teleport right over here. Well, bam, here we are, uh, on a new island. Here's Glugmir. Glugmir? I'm sorry, but it, come on, if you're choosing your big evil chaos dude name, are you gonna follow, are you gonna follow, I don't know, Taurox the Brass Bull, or like, Corvax the Despoiler, or will you follow Glugmir? Glugmir. Jeez, like, find the Chaos B team. Okay, right, end turn. We're gonna kill Glugmir next turn. 
<laughs> Paul Glock. What do you mean no exploits detected, AJ Singe? Have you seen how many aerials I have? Uh, you want me to pay you money? Fine, I've got money to spend. I want to be friends. I'll give you money. Glug me. Hello there, Skaven. You're going to declare war on me? Fine, Icky Claw, you grumbly, stinky rat. Ah. Right. Glugmir the Supreme. Glugmir is not a commander worth fighting for. He's not. Glugmir the Tea Glugger. Now that I can get behind, but I don't think he's Glugmir the Tea Drinker. He's got skulls on him. He's one of the baddies. Everyone knows they drink coffee. Except for me, because of course I'm a baddie who drinks tea. I'm, you know, all Brits are evil. Um, anyway, Glugmir. Glugmir just wants to get close to us. Look, he's right here. Glugmir, hi, Glugmir. Um... Do I even need to fight Glugmir? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna take over the tree. Um, yeah. Cool, the tree is mine. I'm just gonna power grow the tree instantly. Um, why not? <laughs> Glugmir, look, you misunderstood. We don't even need to fight. I'm sorry for even thinking we would have to. It's nice to know that there can be peace, but please leave, leave, please, yes. Um, there we go. Please leave, Glugmir. You're not very happy. You are quite negative opinion. <laughs> you are very negative opinion. In fact, fighting you would probably make people like me, which is definitely worth doing. Okay, Glugmir, you might die next turn, I'm sorry. Um, poor Glugmir solo tier, he's just ignored. <laughs> Yes, uh, yes, that is 100% accurate. Oh, trade agreement. Yay. I love money. Wait, what is this? Cult of Pleasure? Uh, yeah, I'm fine to resolving this. That's fine. Wow, you guys actually killed stuff. Valiant defeat. Oh, and they're not even going to occupy it? What? Fine, okay. The Cult of Pleasure, like, they can get close to our tree, but they're never going to be able to... Turn off slow mode? Oh! Yeah, um... Connor, can you turn off slow mode? I don't think we need it. Um... <laughs> chat will behave themselves. Frog? Frog declares what? Frog? You're the other side of the bloody world, Frog. What's the point, Frog? What's the point... I don't understand you, Frog. Why would you why would you do that, Frog? Um Settlement sacked, okay, that's fine. Trespassing ignored. <gasps> Glugmir, you wouldn't ignore the trespassing. Okay, Glugmir, I'm sorry. We must go to war now. Declare war, Glugmir, goodbye. Um We might as well auto resolve it. Glugmir, bye bye. GG. Um, let's get some money. Thank you, Glugmere, for the fight. It was... Rest in peace, Glugmere. Rest in peace, whatever Glugmere's faction was. And now with all of that done, I'm going to upgrade the settlement. Build some defenses here. So... Oh, exotic animal tamer. Yes. What are you? Physical resistance for all armies would be quite silly. That could get very silly. I want a guard platform. I want um, trapper's den. There we go. Oh yes, we are looking mighty powerful, mighty, mighty, mighty powerful. Yes, good. Now, if I click on this, do I see what we get? Okay, this is the thing that gives us the um, the resistance in all armies. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, and can I upgrade the bitchin' wood yet? Oh, I already did. Okay, nice. Wow, our, our like, capital is so good. It is so strong and powerful. Wow. Hackall did slightly get a bit dismembered, but that's okay. We can't have everything in life. Um, nice. I will... Ooh, can I spend some points on what? Dragon Mask for extra post-battle loot? Yes. End turn. Slow mode isn't changeable inside of the stream's dashboard. Fine, I'll do it, Connor. I'll do it. Slow mode off. Save. 
Done. No slow mode. Ooh, defensive alliance. Yeah, sure, why not? Make everyone happy. Why not? Everyone's gonna be friends. Everybody's gonna be friends with the Sisters of Twilight and, most importantly, Ariel. Pretty much just Ariel. That's literally all we're here for. Just Ariel. This is the Ariel gang. Um, <laughs> for the Ariel party. Yes, no slow mode and freedom. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy it. A chat. You're gonna be great. Smith, why is your cursor not where you're clicking? Um, because I'm playing in a different resolution to my monitor. Because the game does not like rendering nicely. <laughs> it likes rendering nastily. Right, you get upgraded again. You get... Something that gives me a garrison. What, you don't give me a garrison. You don't either. Uh, this technically gives me a garrison eventually. Oh yeah, it does give a garrison, right, cool. Forest lookouts, you're in. Arbiter's perch, yep, you can get upgraded. Do I want any of this? No, this is all useless. Okay, I think, yeah, I've successfully defended this territory. Like, it should have, yeah, it's going to have quite a nice garrison. So we can actually leave in one turn's time. We're going to be able to... Deep Woods travel. Actually, can I just Deep Woods deep woods, travel back here? No, I still have to wait one turn. That's fine. We'll travel back. We'll kill Morafi. Um, where is Morafi even? Like, I can see one of our armies, but it's not Morafi. It's Elizabeth. Morafi hasn't even sent an army to fight me. That is incredibly disappointing, Morafi. Please, don't you know who I am? Don't you know... Oh, Connor, you finally found the slow mode controls. Congratulations. Oh, non-aggression pact with Tyrion. That sounds great. More friendship is more good. Uh. Alright, come on. Come on, lovely game. Hmm. Chat. We're doing good. We've got control here. I want to go murder Morafi, I think, is our next step. Um, although, I don't know how far we murder Morafi. Do we, like, do we murder Morafi completely and massively just evaporate her? Or, wait, hang on a second, Sword of Cain. Oh, the Sword of Cain. Where are, where are you, Sword of Cain? Sword is currently controlled by Scourge of Cain. So it's somewhere around here. The source, the Sword of Cain is somewhere around here. I think the Sword of Cain makes people hate you, if I remember correctly. There is a chance it does make people hate you. Um, which, if that is the case, might make people upset by me having the Sword of Cain. Um, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need you guys to check on that whether Sword of Cain is bad idea. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Sword of Cain might be very bad idea. Might be very, very bad idea. Anyway, we're going to fast travel back to the... Um, Sword of Cain definitely makes people hate you. Yes, I knew it. Damn it. Right, well, we'll do it... We'll do it only as like a last resort deterrent. It's time to end the world kind of situation. Right, time to teleport our way over to here you're gonna feel a little bit little bit awkward about trying to sack that territory now by all means take hag hall if you believe you can but you're gonna get your face melted off by a bunch of very angry aerials ah uh. Cetera the Imperishable, what do you want? You want five grand, six grand, and in turn you'll offer us military access. Cetera, um, look, I don't, I don't hate you, but you are also the other side of the known world. 
So it do, it just does not make sense for me to spend six grand to get military access to a location that I am never going to use. I'm never going to use it. Okay, for those of you that have apparently just joined us, um, you need to be caught up as to what's what's been happening. Okay, goal simple. We wanted to break the economy, break magic, break the game. Uh, I'd say we've pretty much achieved all three because basically when you heal up your first tree, the Witching Wood, uh, known as the Bitchin Wood in this playthrough, you get a little hero. This hero is called Ariel. Ariel is okay. Ariel has some abilities. Several of those abilities are really good, like, say, um, lowering the cost of Winds of Magic for everything in the hero's army by 10%. Pretty good. Other ones, quite useful, making it so that buildings are cheaper and nearby buildings make more money. Really good. Giving yourself extra hit points as well. Isha's Blessing, lowering the cooldown to all spells and making your own magic even cheaper. So, Ariel is quite good. Only downside, you're only allowed one Ariel. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Ariels because you can load Ariels in from different campaigns, which creates dubious situations. Ooh, you're just fleeing. Elizabeth, don't you want to fight with your friends? Oh, well. Ariel, you know what to do. Down we go. Black Hole Fortress, Oblique Hole Fortress, my friends, auto resolve you die. Rest in peace. Uh, sack, raise. Uh, we're going for the raise. We are going for the raise. And we're also going to change the corruption here. Um, basically, there is 64 Slaneshi corruption in this region. However, because of the sheer volume of characters in my army, corruption will be lowered by minus 46. So even though it says we're going to take attrition, we probably won't. Um... It's probably not even possible for us to take attrition anymore. Welcome to the Ariel multiverse. Yes, this is like... This is the scene in the Marvel films where all of the characters come together in one giant murder ball. Oh, Hello there. Are you ready? Oh, you want me to pay eight grand for a non-aggression pact? I will accept it because I think it should mean you'll stop attacking me. And I just don't want those stupid, stupid skeletons trying to attack me. Marafi showed up to the west. I did spot the Marafi. I think it should should be okay. Should be okay. We'll, uh, we can we can hop around and kill Marafi. We get bonuses for killing Marafi. I don't know what Marafi's unique trait is for murdering her. I think it's something like, I don't know, extra damage against Dark Elves. Which, if that's the case kind of sucks but hey yep there we go look we've cleansed the corruption so much we didn't take attrition uh right marafi you're there i'm going to teleport here you can no longer go down this road marafi um i hope you're happy what have you got you're level 14 um you've got some dudes you've got some slaneshis some witch elves and some dark shots nice nice that's cute that's cute. Um, still wouldn't trust my life on it, though, Ariel. I think that's the difference between you and I. Um, because I don't want to die. Anyway, I'm going to spend 20 grand building this. It sucks that we have to pay for it now because our Ariels aren't nearby, but hey, we're going to have to pay for something eventually. Uh, you can't be upgraded yet. Yeah, no point spending money on anything else. Lovely. Unless is the main OG woods over here, Oak of Ages. Have you got an upgrade? Yes, you do. 12 turns, fine. Yep, have that. What are you doing? You're doing literally nothing. Fine. Foe Seeker. You useless tree human thing. Okay, and now that we're back over here and turn, I'm kind of hoping that um... Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that Morefi just throws an army in at us, but I think she won't because... There appears to be a, a rogue army of rockets and gunners. Oh my goodness, this is the most absurd army. I love this army. Just a general of the Empire, a whole bunch of grenade launch horses, two tanks, and then some rocket batteries. Just the entire ranged unit army. That is so fun. That is like the best kind of army. 
Oh dear. That's fantastic. Oh, hello there. Um, Elfari on the Grim. You want a non-aggression pack? Sure. Yeah, why not? Friendship. Mm. How do you load heroes from other saves? Is um, is that a regular feature of Warhammer 3? Yes, it is. So, in one campaign, you want to have your Ariel ready to go. You save that Ariel, and then you start another campaign, and you can load that Ariel in at any point as soon as you have enough money for it. Um, and you, the more campaigns you do with Ariels, the more Ariels you can save. They have to be from separate campaigns to be brought into this campaign. Uh, so this Ariel on the end is the only one that we actually got from this campaign. The rest are from previous campaigns. Um, Morafi stayed and wanted to fight. Morafi, I appreciate, I appreciate the ballsiness. I also appreciate the fact that the game thinks this is a Pyrrhic victory. Pyrrhic victory, chat. Pyrrhic victory. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> curious that. Curious that. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to see if we do indeed get ourselves a Pyrrhic victory. Wait. Let me get some music. Pyrrhic victory. Hmm. <laughs> okay, game. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Where am I going to put my armies? I'm going to put all of you guys back here. Because the AI won't be able to spot you. Same for you guys. You might as well just all hang out back here. Same for you. I will keep my commander just loitering over here. There we go. Select all of you, bam. Eagle. Oh, you're a spell slinger. I don't need you. Just bugger off back here. Uh, big Eagle, you're also back here, right? Good. Right, start deployment. Start battle. Are all of your spells free now? They are, yes. Flock of Doom is now completely free. Awesome. Right, in go the Aerials. Just send them straight in. Here we go. We might as well also cast a dragon breath on something. Ah, actually, there's no need. Okay, right. First spell, Soul Stealer on you. Then I'm going to need a Soul Stealer on you. Then I'm going to need a Soul Stealer on you. I'm going to want a Soul Stealer on you. A Soul Stealer on you. Actually, let's move to slow mode here. I'm going to want a Soul Stealer on you. And for you, you're going to have a Dwellers Below here. And you're going to have a Dwellers Below here. Bam, there we go. Oh, you've also got the Acorn of the Oak of Ages. Oh, yes, this is one of the best ones. Lovely. Uh, you're also the weakest character, which is going to be a problem. You're going to take more damage than the rest. But that's okay. We can just get you to heal yourself. Um, get you to cast this on the Dread Spears, actually. There we go. Bam. Good shot. Oh, good job, Ariel. Right. Acorn of the Oak of Ages. Just gonna dump that right. Whereabouts? Probably like here. That should get a lot of kills. Right, you're gonna cast Dwellers Below right here. You've gone. One caller guy's gone berserk, but that's okay. They can't die um, for a few reasons. Reason number one we can just drop a healing spell on them. Uh, you're doing great. I'm going to have you cast Soul Stealer on these archers. You're doing great. I'm going to have you cast stuff there. Lovely. Oh, yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, right. You've cast you some brilliant stuff. I'm going to want a Soul Steel here. I'm going to want a Soul Steel here. I'm going to want a Soul Steel here. And from you, I want a Dwellers Below right here there we go going good you need a heal actually oh no ariel please come on fourth doctor no 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 i can't beans this i can't beans this oh i might have beans this mm. potentially you need to bugger off right i'm gonna send my commander in to soak up hits and you need to cast a heal on this one and you yourself need to cast a soul steal because that will give you more health 
It's the issue with range units. Dark Shards especially have really good armor-piercing missiles. Uh, so if they can get off enough hits all targeted at one, then that is a problem. But if you have melee reflection, usually you're fine, which is what we've just cast there. And then I drop a soul steal on you. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Okay, you drop a heal on yourself. And everyone after Marafi. Come on, she's buggering off. You might as well go kill her. Like soul steal on you. Dwellers below on you. Oh, you can cast a fireball. Why not? Cast a fireball. That sounds great. And you can do vomit attack. Lovely. A wonderful vomit attack. Okay, it's gone quite well. A lot of the aerials are a bit dinged up. Um, most of them I haven't given any equipment, so their stats are uh, not the best, but definitely could be improved. And that's that's one thing we will do. We will improve these stats. All right, let's go kill Morafi because she's weak as heck at the moment. Right, dwell is below on you. Soul steal on you. There we go. Oh, you're doing a great job of just absorbing all of the damage. And you're going to cast a Soul Steel here. You're doing wonderful as well. Yeah, your spells don't regen as fast because you haven't got all of the upgrades. Oh, you're injured. Okay, I need you to drop a Soul Steel here. There we go. And that Soul Steel should give you all of the necessary life to live. And I'll also pop a heal on you, so that's going to be two heals. And I'll also pop a leadership negative. Oh, Oh, we got one here on really low health. Okay. Let's pop that instantly. Pop heal on self instantly. Pop healing there as well. And also pop a leadership debuff. I'll also have you pop a leadership debuff. And that should route everything in the nearby radius. You pop one as well. Are oh, you not going to affect anything? Oh, well, that should break all of these units before any damage goes in. And yes, Greg is going to live. Greg is going to live. Oh, that was a close one. That was a close one, but I think that's the battle. Okay. Oh, how many losses? None. It's okay. Look, yes, it was our closest battle, but one of the advantages we have is we can just full heal after pretty much every fight. Because our magic doesn't cost anything, there is no reason not to just cast a full heal on ourselves. Um, which I'll drop the soul steal on you there. You're going to cast a full heal on yourself. You're going to cast a full heal on yourself. You can cast a full heal on yourself. I want you to full heal yourself as well. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. All for Greg. Yes, we saved Greg. That's the most important thing. Of course. Um, everyone else could have died. Greg's existence, however, was not optional. He had to live. Right, just heal yourselves up, guys. Luckily, this spell recharges in like 10 seconds, which is very, very useful. My goodness, we have over 100... 135 winds of magic reserves is absurd. Okay, just wait some time pop another heal on you pop another heal on you pop another heal on you there we go good stuff end battle oh lovely stuff good clean fight is Marafi dead um no but she was defeated I mean if she routes we'll just go chase her down and kill her um she can't move as fast as we can I think definitely I should have played that battle out at a different speed and targeted the ranged boys at the back because in melee combat aerials are fine because they can just dodge most of the attacks as you flew away ah it's fine it's fine we'll get her okay we've got the spell shield i'll get the treasury yeah, why not yep she has just buggered off this was in the woods nice nice oh we get the bonus Plus 10% hero self-defense chance, and heroes are cheaper. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. All right, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna forge some equipment though. Um, so, 
What are we gonna want? We're gonna want stuff that keeps our heroes alive. Maybe Twilight Helm is a good idea. Ups the melee defense of everything in our army. So yep, I will grab that. Twilight Helm is a good idea. Eagle Mask for research rate. Dragon Pendant for melee defense. Dragon Spear. Yeah, okay, we'll do Dragon Piraeus. Why not? And I will grab the Dragon Pendant. And I'll get these equipped onto one of our aerials. Here you go. You don't have anything, so wear this, this, and this. Sure. Yeah, I think that's everything, right? Oh, you can have an obsidian trinket, right? And you want a weapon? I haven't really got any weapons, that's fine. Okay, you can have Elder Scout, General Thing, Forest Spirit, and uh, this Anvil Smith giving some extra armor, and a War Dancer. Nice. Yep, that looks good. Okay, that looks good. Lovely, cool. Next Ariel, Fourth Doctor, you need to get some equipment as well. You get some stuff on you. Do, 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 do. Okay, Drummer, Standard Bearer, Hawk Companion, uh, Forest Spirit, and the rest looks fine. Cool. Magic items, Dragon Caress for extra shield, um, Sword of Might for extra weapon strength, and yep, that looks good to me. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. Everyone is happy. Straight into Marafi we go. Marafi, hello. Auto resolve. You die. Rest in peace for good. And just grab some cash. Sweet. Right, that's Marafi dead a second time. Um, and I can just also walk straight back. Look at this. 167% cost reduction for buildings is absurd is absolutely absurd okay um marafi how how does peace sound to you now you still don't want to have peace okay maybe you want a turn to just reflect is that what you need do you need the reflection would reflecting help you <laughs> right i'm gonna walk around over here and ooh, there's a little skimmy skimmy rat rat boys over here Skimmy Rat Boys. Hey, Skimmy Rat Boys. I appreciate the Metal Gear Rising music spiff. I just beat the main story yesterday. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, hello, elf people. You want me to join the war against the Scourge of Cain? Well, if they have the sword, then sure. Because I would quite like that sword. I think it looks cool and jazzy. Oh. Mm. did you break magic yet um yes all of the spells are free to cast and regenerate in like 10 seconds so my entire army is comprised of spell slinging wizards that can endlessly cast spells that are really really good like really really good um cool right where are you off to um, you want to try and take this settlement again, don't you? Okay, well, if I move close enough, you'll probably give up. This Ariel needs to level up because they're by far the weakest. Um, so you can have extra damage and bonus versus infantry. Yeah, this is why they do so well against infantry. This absurd, like, plus 25 is really, really good. 5% uh, ward save when accompanying a lord is probably really great. Wait, hang a second. Plus 30% armor-piercing missile damage for Sisters of Fawn units. Oh. Should I be recruiting those? <laughs> that sounds... That sounds really quite good. Um, I'll have to have a look at that. How many of you guys have it? Quite a few of you. Um, how, if I were to switch to global encampment... Sisters of... What are they? Okay, I can't recruit them, which is fine. Let it bring carnage. Let's head back to the Bitchin Wood and work out if we can or can't hire whatever these units are. Um, evidently, they're not these units, so we might as well sell this barracks. We'll just demolish that and get the money from it. And we're going to go kill Trey 
Trey the Skaven. Um, forgot about Glugmir. Glugmir died. Okay, we don't need to talk about Glugmir. Glugmir is dead. What is this? Forest Encounter Dark Elves? Um, I don't want to upset the Dark Elves. Plus 50 faction lowers unrest and control, but gives us forest health. Yeah, this feels like a great idea. We get friendship with all Dark Elf factions. Why would we not get friendship with all Dark Elf factions? That's absurdly good. That's absurdly good. Anyway, right. You need to not... You need to unlife, okay, Elizabeth. You grumpy, angry person. Okay, you are doing fine as well. Um... Might as well just get some unit bonuses on you. That's not going to do anything. Let's just get income from post-battle stuff. Why not? We've got a lot of post-battle. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for slandering Glugmir. Okay, the Skaven want to fight. Yep, yeah, we'll auto that. Die, Skavens. Um, I'll take your money. I love your money, thank you. Scum? Oh, okay, we're being angry to them. They've ended their non-aggression pact with us. Okay, so the vampire coast potentially up there might want to kill us. And Morafi's back in control of a different army this time. But she back. She back. She better than ever. She wanting to murder us. Um, potentially. Why is the mouse pointer so sus? Look, don't, we don't talk about the mouse pointer. The Glugmir arc was underdeveloped and not worth remembering. Definitely a filler arc. <laughs> yeah, the Glugmir arc um, had its moments. It really did. Uh, it's a shame Glugmir arc. I feel like they could have done a lot more with the Glugmir arc. Um, okay, where's this fancy arrow, ladies? It's not Waywatchers, is it? Deepwood Scouts. Waywatchers. Is it something I can recruit from here? No, they're the hawk riders. Okay, what is the thing that you're buffing? Sisters of Fawn. Sisters of Fawn units. Okay, what building is a bloody Sisters of Fawn? Right, let me go in here. Uh, glade riders, glade stuff, glade slingers. Why does Marefi keep uh, keep respawning? Um, it basically, she has a really quick respawn time, Marefi. Also, they they just do. Uh, the AI has has a few advantages. What is this? What is even the name of it? This game is too much. I know, I know. Chat, surely one of you knows where the the fawn sisters of fawn units. Sisters of Fawn units. You're not classed. The commanders aren't Sisters of Fawn, are they? They definitely can't be classed as that. It's definitely not Hawks. Sisters of Fawn. Oh my god, here they are. Here they are. Cavalry. They're cavalry. Fine, right. Um, Marafi, I could fight you. However, I'm going to actually walk over to here... So that I can giga boost the construction speed because I want to see what my new horses would look like. Uh, it's literally just that simple. Uh, if you want to take that settlement, Rafi, by all means, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. Um, <laughs> I just could not be. Look, I've got better priorities in my life at the moment. Um, plus one uses for Dart of Doom and Oak of Ages. Oh! If I upgrade this, is this going to give the one aerial that has the Dart of Doom more uses of the Dart of Doom? Because if that's the case, that's going to get very silly very quickly. All right, let's grab Evergreen for you. Oh, well, you've got even more. Um, as far as Gifts and Shield of Fawns. Do, 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 do. Healing stuff and foresty stuff, magic stuff. Well, all of you Ariels are getting 
Very powerful. Very, very powerful indeed. Doing great. Very jazzy. Lord of Pain is not needed. It does nothing for us. But we might as well grab it anyway because I have spare points. <laughs> Fourth Doctor, what do you need? Um, just give you specialist, I guess. Just max out the specialism. I have to stop watching. Guests coming over. Waiting for my next shipment of Yorkshire Gold. Here, here to Portland. Wow. Good luck with your guests. Um, what's a better present? Uh, what better present is there than the gift of tea? There is none. A nice warm cup of tea going into someone's house is a wonderful thing indeed. I think never over, never underestimate the power of a nice refreshing cup of tea. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Sink all the points into whatever that is. Sisters of Twilight, what do you want? You can have that. And cool. I think we're going to get some horses in a few turns time and I want to see how much armor piercing damage those horses are doing. Aerials are legendary. Yes, they are. That is why they're slightly a little bit broken in this situation because you're only meant to have one of them. Why would you be allowed more than one aerial? It doesn't make sense. Oh, yep, you are going to go for the settlement. Okay, fine. Cool. It's okay. Are you going to even take it? No, you're just going to loot it. Okay, fine. Doesn't bother me. That's fine, Morafi. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, that's peace be to you. Cool. Mm. Have you tried Northgard? Um, yes, I've played Northgard a few times. Uh, I think it is a good, fun game, very enjoyable, good in multiplayer. However, I have um, not not played it for a little while. Name an Ariel Glugmit. Yes, good name. Good name. Uh, we're gonna name the overpowered Ariel that has actually all of the items. Glug me. Um, hello there, legendary. Oh, you're the only one I can't rename. Okay, this Ariel is gonna be named Glug me. <laughs> I'm gonna save you. There we go. Now that you're saved, I can have you in other campaigns. Right. Bitchin Wood. Uh, I want you to be upgraded. With there we go. Um, we also might as well just clear out this army. I mean, it's got like a great eagle and some hawk riders. I don't think any of these guys are going to be useful, so we're just going to kill them. Actually, could we just recruit another lord and dump them in there? Uh, have you got a lord that gives money? Lord that gives money, money lord. Ariel's chosen, nope. Campaign movement for enemy armies. Eh. Perceptive, strong. Weapon Master. Um, I guess I'll go for the. I'll go for the tr ancient tree man. We'll be fine. All right, and we're gonna just dump our army into the ancient tree man. Is the plan. All right, in you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bam. Oh, I think a corgi's back. I was going to put this spellcaster in there that just not needed. Literally, just the army of ten Ariels is, is fine. Right, one moment, chat. Back in the smidgen. of a demigod who won't hesitate to kill in her name. Right, I'm back. I was just the corgi coming in to say hello after her day out. She's had a grand old time. Um, all right. Uh, we've got our aerials. We're doing good. One more turn, and then we can start recruiting Sisters of the Fawn. Are we able to buff units anymore? Do, 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 do. You give 
Lord's Army Casualty Replenishment. You give not much. I suppose this one gives research rate. That's probably a good one to pick up if I actually picked it up. So one melee defense for the entire army and melee attack and missile strength. Okay, this one is actually really good. Yeah, this one's great. Sure. Okay, we're going to go for the Twilight Spear. Bam, Twilight Spear, you sound great. You sound amazing. Okay, who's even holding the Twilight Spear? It best be one of you. Um... None of you are holding the Twilight Spear. Right, Glugmir, congratulations. Your job is to hold the Twilight Spear. Bam, yours. And I think, yep, you can also have a spell shield. And that should be good. Lovely stuff. Any ancillaries for you? A spy, a thing, a forest spirit, uh, a smith to give you armor. Perfect. Lovely. Brilliant. Okay, one more turn. We're up to 100 grand in the bank, uh, which is nice. That's a decent little bit of money. Decent little bit of money. Right, we're gonna repair you up as well. And we're getting ready. We'll be ready next turn. That's when the money comes in. Sisters of the Fawn in my side. <laughs> uh, does each Ariel buff each Sisters of Fawn? That is my guess. Uh, normally I would say probably not. Normally you would not expect the individual legendary characters to stack their modifiers. In the same way that if they were to all cast the same spell on the same unit, that unit wouldn't receive seven instances oh, sorry, beg my pardon, of that spell. Um, it would only receive one. Whereas in the case of in the case of the unit being buffed, I think there is quite a high chance. It is a really high chance. Also, Ned, completely missed it, but you gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, Ned. That's incredibly generous. You don't have to do that. Um, Confederation, Whispers, Grateful Paragons. Cool. Okay, and now we are able to recruit the Sisters of Fawn. Nice. Uh, might as well also pick up this thing that buffs the heck out of cavalry. Um, and pick up this thing, because why not? Actually, yes, I know why not. We want to get late game money making buildings. Okay, Sisters of Fawn, you're going to get some Sisters of the Fawn. Let's just spam out a little army of them. It's going to take. Uh, okay, we don't need all of them. I think we'll, we'll spend. We'll get two units of them. Because otherwise, I'm going to fail to micro them anyway. Yeah, that seems fine. Fine by me. Um, and we're going to see how strong they get to. They should hopefully be. Decent is the idea. Decently good. Oh, Inkari. Hello, Inkari. Do you want to declare? Yes, you do. You do want to declare war. That's nice, Inkari. Nice to meet you too. Glad we could be friends for such a brief period of time. Uh, you silly pink salmon individual. Uh, hey, Spiff, you know those Rihanna Keeves coins that you have as YouTuber much? Would it be possible to have one made of silver? Um, uh, you like flipping them, but you don't know how they handle drops. I can say they handle drops very well. I've flipped them, I've spanned them. Uh, they are really, really quite resilient. Very, very resilient buggers. Um, but I think making merchandise out of silver, just as like a general YouTuber guideline, probably quite challenging. <laughs> But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, right, okay, Sisters of Twilight. These uh, these guys, you know, they seem okay. They seem okay. Armor piercing weapon damage of 10. It's, it's fine. We'll see how they do in a battle. Um, because currently they should be receiving plus 15% armor piercing missile damage. And global recruitment time for them is reduced by 1%. Minus one. Okay, so the global recruitment time for them has been reduced because evidently they're meant to take a long while to recruit. And we can just recruit them in one turn, so that's nice. Right, can I speed yeet my way over here? Yes, I can. Um, perfect. Right, next turn we're going to fight Marafi for the second time. Oh. They don't on regular asphalt. Okay, well... 
fine. I, I haven't I haven't dropped a coin on asphalt, I've got to be honest. Mostly just on the floor of my office and the floor, floor of an expo. Why would I want military? Fine, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Why not? It, it gives us more map vision. I'll get military access with the Tomb Kings for five grand. I mean, we have, what, a hundred grand? What's the point of money? Next video, Spiff exploits the commodities market. Honestly, um, if I were to exploit the commodities market, I would just buy excessive quantities of um, of just like Lego because Lego's consistently gone up in price. You know, things like oil go up and down. Lego forever, eternal, never ending, glorious Lego. In we go. Um, game doesn't think that we're going to do well here. Medium casualties. I disagree. I think we're going to have fun. I think we're going to have a lot of fun here. <laughs> Hi, Spiff. I love your merch, but it doesn't hold up great when I yeet it into asphalt. Can you cast it in precious metals <laughs> to help me out? Um, it's, it's a funny question, that. That's like the second time that's been us. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, chat. You are, you are, very, you are very funny. <laughs> As a totally legitimate channel member, not someone who just got lucky and gifted a membership, can I highly recommend Twining's Everyday Tea to you? You can recommend it. I can, however, say that I've uh, tried it and I don't like it as much as Yorkshire tea. I think it is a nice tea. I think it is an enjoyable tea. And if someone served it to me in a house, I wouldn't be upset. I wouldn't be annoyed. I would just be like, oh, that's a cup of tea. So, yeah, I, I you know, I'm not a Twining's Everyday individual. But if I had to, fine, if I have to. Okay, um, another thing that I need to show off with. Oh my god, you all have Vanguard deployment. Since when did you guys all get Vanguard deployed? Fine, it's, who cares? Oh, everyone has Vanguard deployment now. Lovely, right, you guys, what is your weapon strength? Mm, not the best. You do, however, get a lot of charges. I don't think you're meant to get eight charges of the Shield of Fawns. No, you're only meant to get one, if I remember correctly. And the curse of Arnahei on air? Fine, well It looks like their their weapon strength hasn't necessarily been improved. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how many kills they get. If they get a lot of kills, we know that yes yes the magic stuff happened. Anyway, start deployment, start battle. Um so I'm gonna show off something really fun and silly, which is that basically we can just march our way straight to the objectives and they will just mass murder everything. Um Right, you are going to vomit on those dark shards for me, please. And you guys are just going to harass those dread spears. That would be lovely. Um, you're close, so can you soul steal them? And can you soul steal these guys? You guys can cast what's moving, right? Can't you? Yeah, you can. You can just cast and still just be buggering off in, like, one direction. Oh, that's lovely. That is so good. Right, I'm going to also drop a, like fawn thing um you can have a dwellers below oh we got a great opportunity for one right here lovely i'll cast that have they got a flying thing oh my god they've got marafi <gasps> finally i get a chance to cast tempest oh yes tempest yay cast tempest go yes let us hit the flyer hit the flyer yes the flyer is hit by a tempest whoa that's quite the visual spell okay we're gonna drop a Spell steal down. You're by far the strongest one we have. You have this Dart of Doom, which is um, absurdly powerful. Like, absurdly good. Um, all right, we need to get all of our heroes in the objective. And there we go. They just capture it instantly. Uh, this is because heroes capture objectives, like, stronger than units. I think each hero is, like, multiple units worth of capture power. Um, right, you're... You're the one with the dart, so I'm going to mess about with you. I'm going to have you dart this unit here, because you should be able to probably kill it. Um, right, bam. Cast your dart. There we go. Well, bam. Oh, they're going to form up as well. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's good. Right, then we're going to cast a soul steal on them, and that should be them completely routed from the fight. What are these guys doing? Okay, Sisters of Fawn, look... Your weapon strength ain't the best, but at the same time, you're not dead. So, is that a, is that a win? It's, it's kind of a win, I guess. 
You're not dead. Good job. Congratulations. Have a medal. Um, right, what is Marafi doing? Marafi, you're just, just dicking about, Marafi. Please. Can you take this fight seriously? Um, I might as well cast this explosion on the ground. We'll go 3, 2, 1, and kaboom! Pain for everyone. Lovely. Okay, have I got someone to cast a soul steel over here? That'd be great. Someone needs to cast a soul steel here. Someone needs to cast a soul steel here. Would be great. Oh dear, it looks like someone's attacking you guys. Well, luckily, you can just melee reflect yourselves. Um, and you can just weaken the hell out of them. And that's you fine. You can just flee now. Here we go. Sisters of Fawn. I don't like the fact that they their literal one thing is that they just say their name loudly. I don't feel like that's a good character trait. It's not a great character trait at all. Right. Soul Siphon on you. Um, you can have a the Dwellers Below. And honestly, you can also have a Fireball. I think I could get a nice Fireball off on you. Marafi, you're not exactly in a great position at the moment. Gotta be honest. Life don't seem to be doing too great. Okay, bam. Another soul steal. Uh, fireball. Yeah, just yeet one over there. Why not? Okay. Oh, we're going to have another dart ready soon. Okay, let's get ready for this dart. Oh, and Tempest. Sorry, Tempest. Do you think you can get away? Oh, Marafi, where are you fleeing to? Where are you fleeing to, Marafi? Oh, no. Florida's just been hit by another tropical storm. <laughs> Okay, and rip to Marafi. Um, oh dear, I don't. I that is one thing that I do have a question to all Americans in the world. Why would you live in an area that has tropical storm like possibilities? Why would you voluntarily live there? It's like yes, I I like living on the edge. Oh, dart, 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 dart. Come on, dart. Turn around, dart. No, bad dart. Oh, that's a really bad dart. Uh, too soon, Spiff. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's exciting? Oh, I suppose, yeah, you guys just like to live life on the edge. You guys are super cool. Um, right, one of you needs to get a really good soul steal off of those guys, because they're not going to make it. Another one of you needs to get a Dwellers Below off, like, here. Right, and they're just all going to die now to this Dwellers Below. Rest in peace. Going to watch just the kill count go up and up and up. Yep, there you go. whole bunch of angry tree roots just murdered. All of those elves. Right, where's that final objective? Okay, just everyone go stand in it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And you can cast a soul taker here. You can cast a soul taker here. You can cast a soul taker here. And look at how fast we just take this objective. It's like, oh, you want to try and hold the objective? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you've got units on it. Um, that's it. That's my objective now. Um, that's mine. Oh, my goodness. This is just too powerful. What the heck just happened there? Did a whole bunch of their dudes just get yeeted into the sky and fall? Yes. Um, well, cool. That was a good victory. Decisive one. To be fair, Smith, most Americans aren't aren't dumb enough to live in Florida. That's rude. Florida, okay, Florida does. I, I, I'm joking. It's not rude. Um, Florida does have some unique things. We've got to be grateful for the existence of Florida for several key reasons. One, the existence of Florida Man. Um, Florida Man makes life spicy. You never know what you're going to get with the people of Florida. You don't know what they're going to do. They're completely unhinged. They've got different rules to the rest of us. And that is a power in and of itself, okay? It's a unique power, not necessarily a useful power, but power is technically power. Yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. A good another victory, another glorious victory. Marafi is dead again. Uh, we're gonna raise this place again. That's a victory. Elder Scout, nice. Plus five percent movement. Sweet. Oh my goodness. This is very very good. Right. Um, uh, where do we go from here, chat? 
Chat, where do we go? Where do we go? Pretty sure I'm done. Pretty sure I am actually completely done. I've played the game. I've broken it. We've got some unstoppable units. Glum Glugmir. You know? What more what more could you need? The the stream I think this is it, chat. Are we happy? I think we're happy with the stream. Uh, we've been going for what? Two hours and fifty minutes? Yeah, I'm happy with this. There you go, chat. Um if you want to give this exploit a go yourself, uh how you do it, of course. I did explain that early, but you know, it's okay. I understand you weren't all there. Uh you play a campaign of the Sisters of Twilight. Get your starting location up to a hundred uh, 100 thing as soon as possible uh, you will get then receive Ariel with a whole bunch of great bonuses save Ariel as a character then start another campaign and repeat repeat as many times for as many Ariels as you want um, and then once you have all of your Ariels simply press the load character button and load in your Ariels from previous campaigns it is as easy as that chat only 6.3k likes it's fine you guys will, like, the people watching the live stream VOD will make up for it. I've got to go make myself dinner. I've got to go relax. We've got a big week of content ahead of us. So, yes, I've got to bugger off. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed having you all here. Um, world Domination. World Domination would take about 200 hours, maybe, from this point. Uh, so, no. No, we're not doing World Domination. <laughs> I appreciate the appreciate the enthusiasm. Anyway, have a nice chat. Uh, have a nice chat. Have a nice chat day. Um, have a nice day chat. Thank you for taking part in the stream. It's lovely to have all of you here. Um, and now what I will do is I'll spam my auto clicker on the insert add button. Ha <laughs> ha! Flee whilst you can. Flee, flee. Yes. How many adverts do you get? You will never know. Goodbye, goodbye. If you have YouTube Premium, congratulations. Uh, you just fed me a lot of money. Anyway, have a nice day, everyone, and look after yourselves. Goodbye.